How's it going, guys? Good morning. This is just a chill stream. I just, I'm like super sweaty. What did I do? Did I vigorously jerk off in the morning? Did I start my morning off right? Making sure my prostate, my prostate's healthy? Or was I mowing the yard? What am I doing mowing my own yard here in Texas? In Houston, Texas? There's so many Mexicans just coming across the border anymore. They're all over the place. I mean, why am I mowing the yard? Should be working smarter. I know it's just you right now. It's okay. How's it going, Warriors? How's it going, Tree Master Bob? We need a good old fashioned tower. Why not? Why not? I don't really stream on this channel as much as I used to. I used to stream every day, multiple times a day. All right, so I'm just going to be chilling and catching up with the Thorps and really just talk about whatever you guys want to talk about too. Uh, if there's anything you want me to react to or watch, that's fine as well. I have plenty of time. Are you drunk? No, I actually have not had a drop of alcohol um, at all, at all. So that could change. But um, anyway, so let's get started with this. Let's see. Do I have everything ready to go? I have a clip from Destiny or Destiny questions Grace about her father. That's going to be good to get into. Um I have a clip about, oh, that's right. There was a stream about this guy named Sick. That'd be kind of cool to watch. Uh, let's go and save that. Get that ready. Uh, what else? Man, they've been really popping off, haven't they? Uh, they've been, they've been mingling with others, with other streamers, crossing paths with them. They're getting what they wanted. Uh, all the attention that they could ever ask for, they have. I uh, hope they uh, like what happens as a result of that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me take a look at the Discord. I'm sure. I'm sure the streams will just be right there. Probably in Ben's Discord. As I get this stuff ready to go, have y'all been keeping track of this? Do y'all pay attention to the Thorpe um, escalations? Oh, well, well. I'm just scrolling through right now. And a Discord. That's not what I was looking for. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, put that on the screen. I guess I'll put that on the screen now while I'm kind of pulling up some other things. Give me something to talk about real fast. That's kind of cute. What are we looking at? This is a post from Grace. Look at that. $24,000. Close to $25,000 from her daddy. To her. So Ben Thorpe does give his daughter all sorts of money. I really hope Courtney gets a spine and takes him to court and gets half of everything. Uh, I this th that's how this should end. No, uh, I, I'm just I just mowed the yard, so we're, we're we're doing an old school chill stream. None of that played up energy, uh, none of that theatrical crap. It's just old school 
dead man chill stream that's what it is i was either going to stream on twitch and play some game or stream over here and talk about the thorps and i'll just do this that's fine oh yeah he gives her more than money 100 percent sure yeah he, he gives her that d he gives her that meat injection 100 percent there everyone sees it everyone knows it they might as well just admit it stop being in denial all right let's see let me get more here uh we'll take a look at the destiny subreddit too i'm sure that i'm sure that has gotten interesting uh so she was on irrelevant another destiny guy okay we'll save that so let's see we have these streams ready to go let's see uh, that's just the, uh, that's just the opener. That's just Cyber Japan. Okay. Uh, uh, this is just a stream about Sneeko. That has nothing to do with anything other than, other than get, you see who's, you see who's still on the upper corner right there. That's right. Shamu has been very popular lately. Very popular. Good for him. He deserves it. It is great. It is amazing. All right. Let's go and start with this here. This is Destiny talking to Grace about her relationship with her father. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. Oh, yeah. We should take a look at Shamu's... Uh, video uh, statistics real fast because I'm sure it's incredible let's take a oh wow 23,000 views <laughs> this one video this one, <laughs> this one video has so many views on it. Over 23,000. It's happening, man. Shamu, you're popular. You're being, you're being talked about. Your stream, your video is being discussed in the, the Destiny Circle. You, you've made it, man. Congratulations. Smoke a cigar and celebrate if you... Or not. Uh, let's do this one. I'll embrace myself for this. I might need to take a shot of whiskey before we do this. First off, my throat's all messed up. I mean, I shouldn't say that on the stream. That I could be taken out of... Uh, just out of context. But whatever. Here we go. A little shot. A little mini shot. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, well, it's actually 11 now. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. What's tonight's song? I'm feeling like this is going to be a slow, slow song kind of night. Yeah. Karaoke night. Yeah. yeah Ashley, put on something nice. Put on a little perfume. Maybe get in the bathtub. And let's go for... Is it? Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm just asking, okay? Because I genuinely don't know. Is it confirmed that she is in, in in an incestuous relationship with this guy? It is confirmed by her own mouth. She even said that she is, and her dad says that she is. We'll play that, too. Okay. 
Is that like a hundred percento or is that like a Mimo? Uh, it's pretty much a hundred percent. Okay. If you want to have that 1% out for like, uh, just, just in case you need it for yourself to be able to exist, be able to, you know, not, <clears throat> you know, to sleep well at night then sure, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's, yeah, they're 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 fucking, they're fucking. I fully believe they're fucking. Slow songs, sad songs. Um, slow and sad, I would say. Slow and sad songs, and think? then complain. Right, we gotta take a look at his chat because he asked his chat, and Destiny's chat is kind of funny at times. Um, they mess with him so much. It's like sometimes I, I wonder if Destiny fans actually hate Destiny. <laughs> Slow songs? Sad songs? Um. Some people were just asking questions like, for real? Is this real? Slow and sad, I would say. Slow and sad songs. And then complaining. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Sometimes on a Friday, it's been a long week, and you just feel like, you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's a way of saying, it's a way of affirming life negatively. Yeah. So I did a stream like this not too long ago, where I was just playing a game and streaming at the same time. I thought it went well. I had the videos ready to go in order. That way, I wouldn't even have to stop my game to play the next video. It was all ready to go automatic. People didn't like it. People did not like it. It's like, okay. All right. You'd rather just have me not. I mean, he, he seems distracted. He's not making any commentary so far, you know? He's just playing whatever game that is. Yeah. What's a good depressing song? It looks like some sort of tactics game. Uh, let me Dark see. song. You got the blues. You got all this. Okay, what about... Uh... What if I start with um, fake plastic trees? That's a good one, yeah. I'm down for that. You're down for it? Okay, we're in the same place tonight. I'm Last this time clip is not as heated as I thought it was going to be. If there's no fire in this clip so far, we're halfway in. Destiny asked Grace Storm about her relationship with her father. This clip seems mistitled. Sorry, bros. Sorry, guys. Oh, you were God, not down for you were doing your fake I'm a happy girl thing yeah. just like your okay just curious no judgment are you in some type of sexually no in incestual what's like a nice way of saying incestuous relationship just ask her if you're <laughs> romantic your you're in a romantic relationship with your dad question mark <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Wait, then then do the hot emoji after. <laughs> no, shut up. Do it. Do it. You're a pussy. Do it right now. <laughs> you do it, and I owe you one, because that'll be fucking no! hilarious. Come on. Do it. Just. I'm just this a... is incestiny, by the way. I mean, Destiny did have a debate once about incest. So this is actually an opportunity for Grace and Ben to come clean. Because, let's face it, do you think the Destiny DGG or whatever it's called, community, would actually be that grossed out? I mean, they would be grossed out a little bit, but uh, they already had Mr. Girl in that community, you know? I, I, think, I think it's just right for the course. I think it's... It, it, it would be very suiting, very fitting if they would just admit it for Destiny. They're just trying to understand. Okay, she said, I'm not, bruh. Mother on her. That's it? That's him asking Grace to her about her relationship with her father? That's nothing. Fake, happy karaoke. This man. clip is boring. Oh, sorry. No. Sorry. Just to start okay, what are you doing? There you go. It's like as <laughs> exciting as watching Ben and Grace do karaoke. 
Hmm. I, curious. She already said no. She already said no. So. Hey, um. Do you want to know? She be lying. Explain Wait, why. You know, or I don't know. Like, here's a few links. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> why why do these people always find me? <laughs> okay. I'm sick guys, in case you haven't noticed. Went to Vegas and I came back sick. Whatever I caught. <clears throat> I should not have been uh, I was practically raped on Fremont Street. I mean I didn't consent. To being thrusted in between the legs of a Fremont prostitute that had a whip and her tits were out. I didn't consent to that. I didn't say no either. But she hit me with a whip, pulled me in. Next thing I know, I'm smelling crotch. My head's like this. And I'm smelling crotch. She's straddling. She's on my head. My wife went in to, to a store to, to buy something. I forgot what. It didn't make any sense. We were on Fremont Street in Vegas. We were doing what you're supposed to do in Vegas. Smoke a lot of weed in public. Drink a lot of beer. It was great. That part was great. The gambling part was not so great. All right. This stream, I have seen. But we're going to watch it together. This stream is good. This stream is good. But we're going to speed it up. We're going to put it on like 1.25 speed or something. I, let's get into this. And you don't deny it. Nope. You play nope. into back, it. Back up. There is what seems. Okay. So this guy I know nothing about. And he's talking to Ben. And it reminds me of my interview. My little confrontation with Ben. It's good. It's good. Hey, Bex. How you doing? Oh, I didn't announce I was streaming on your, your Discord. My bad. I didn't announce it anywhere, actually. My bad. So I probably have like five people watching. If even. It is old school day numbers, man. Ever since I betrayed the Dymo, you know, it's, uh, oh, that is what it is. I'll do it again. Seems to be an admission of you explaining your daughter sending dirty messages to you, uh, where you kind of say it's just like an eggplant emoji, but then it yeah. seems like, I don't know if it's an acquaintance of your son or a close friend, but he reads out the text where it says she's saying, come bring your meaty dick down here. And you don't deny- Oh, come bring your daddy meaty dick down here. Of course, Grace would send a message like that to her dad. Oh, yeah. 100% that happened. Mr. Vickers owns me. He doesn't own me. The opportunity to talk about the Council of Evil and the Ethan Ralph stuff at a courtroom was very, very compelling. That's what won me over. That opportunity would have been great. I would have been like, okay... I don't know where to begin, but follow me on this. You got a guy who LARPs as a samurai, okay? You have a Norwegian gay pedophile, and then you have this drunken surfer guy, this Canadian dude who may or may not have smoked crack. Okay, so, and then you have this swamp creature named Gahul. Uh, uh, we just, we're just getting started here. I hope you're ready to take notes. That would have been great. I'm sad that that didn't happen. Of course it didn't happen because Vickers is a loser too. Anyway, let's play this. I mean, no one wants to slow the stream down, pause the stream to talk about old news. Go ahead and throw the rat emoji in the chat. It's fine. I like it too. I it. No, you play no, into no, it. No, 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 no. You got that all wrong. My daughter may have sent me an emoji. This is what she was an adult. Okay. She may Dude, have said, that's what she that's what he says. She's an adult. She could talk to me the way she wants to talk to me. Well then just just say it, Ben. Just go out and say it. Just just come clean. What is it? it I don't think it's illegal in Rhode Island for you to be F to be banging your daughter. Uh 
Okay? And I don't care if it is. I'm not going to call the cops on you. You call the cops on me for just saying I want to show you my gardening tools. I want to show you what a pick hoe is. Sent me something that my son then found. Meaty. I don't think that was said. You're making that up. And 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 this is wait, what do you what do you mean? What what am I making up? I'm making up that somebody else. I think else... what the person said. Bring your big dick up here or something like that. And what, that... what? How does that make it any better? Uh, that, that, so Ben is like, oh no no, you got it wrong. She didn't say meaty dick. Okay, she said big dick. Get it right. It's like wait, why why is that? Why are you hung up on that? Why are you hung up on the vernacular or the verbiage? So you don't have a problem with the text that your daughter sent you. Okay, Big Daddy. All right, Big Daddy. Oh, yeah. That now, now we really are starting to understand even more what your priorities are. That's based on so, this person's so they, interpretation so they, of what my son said he found on my daughter's so, phone by invading her privacy when she was in a and this is what he does too he wants to make the conversation about the son invading her daughter uh, his uh his sisters or ben's daughter's privacy and not so much the the strange message that was found so ben's trying to change the subject the sick guy is pretty good in keeping him to task though Stop. Okay, hold on. So this is this is the hill we're dying on. It's not it's not that he, hey, you're going to die. She on. she didn't say meaty dick. She said big dick. She didn't say. I don't know here. what she, she said. said. I don't know what she said. But yes. you you seem to be able to understand what I'm referencing, though. So, yeah, she joked around with me. Her mother. You should watch a video by a guy named Doctor Computer Shop, where she, where where my daughter tells her mother what's been well, going on. So what happened here? And the reason it's incestuous is you because guys take things way my too seriously. Wife accused of some of you guys her too. daughter like and me like flavor town takes things way too seriously uh other guys are pretty good zod and bex they're cool uh warriors of shire cool uh yeah. having an affair based on nothing and that's it, it's crazy it was crazy she wanted her daughter dead well i uh, would say it's incestuous just based on the fact that we have a daughter who seems to have a father that normalizes the idea that it's okay for a teenager to send her dad dirty texts. 100%. There you go. He's okay with it for what reason? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because he likes to bang her. What is a dirty text? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. Can you, can you define the word is, please? This is like Bill Clinton trying to get out of uh, just admitting that he banged Monica in the Oval Office, or actually had a blowjob, got his dick sucked, received a Hummer in the Oval Office. This this is it. It's like some sort of mind game, right? It's like, can you please define what a dirty text is? What is a dirty text? Ben, you're not retarded. You know what a dirty text is. Stop. Stop. I don't know. I mean, you're not pretty clear when you talk about okay, these stories. Okay. Okay, okay, so so like I my daughter who's twenty texts my younger daughter who's thirteen, hey ho, this kind of stuff, right? Is, is that a dirty text that she can You know that that's not that? be, you're not being honest right now. You I am know being you no, you know that that's not a you know that's not a dirty text. Okay. But when I say you, you dirty when I say dirty, I mean sexually dr driven. She calls me your big daddy sometimes. Is that a, is that a dirty text? It could be. Okay, but it also could be joking. And I guess I don't, it's I don't think I don't think there's any ambiguity when it comes to saying, please bring your big dick up here. Well, I, I don't, I, I mean, that is based, you're saying that, that I, I don't remember every single text that was ever sent to me. Is it ambiguous? Is it? Is it any, uh, anyone confused about that? I mean, it doesn't seem ambiguous to me or anyone with a brain stem. Okay, and that's something which comes from two years ago that my son found while rifling through his sister's private communications with me. No one cares about that part, Ben. And when she was 18 years old. So, yeah, does she, does she, when, when we were accused relentlessly, tortured, of this, do we do we develop a kind of repartee? So, 
he, he's he's saying he's thinking this makes it sound better. You know, he just he just said that he was accused of this. That him and Grace were accused of having uh, relations, sexual relations, and accused by the mom. By the way, um, that doesn't make it any better. Actually, it colors it even more. So not only did she send Ben a text message saying, "Bring your meaty dick." Down here, Big Daddy. They were also accused by the mom of having that sort of relationship. Huh. Well, I, I think she was right. I think she only walked it back because it's disgusting to think about. And it is extremely pungent of laundry to be airing out. No one in their right mind, even if you're in an abusive household, abused by your husband, wants that sort of dirty laundry to come out. So even if she does still believe that it happened, she's not going to admit it. I'm saying the mom is not going to admit it now. She's, she walked it back and she's going to continue to walk that back because it's embarrassing. If you had this dirty laundry... And about your family and it came out. Would you want everyone to know about it? No. 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 You wouldn't. You wouldn't. I hope it's not your situation. God forbid. If there is a God. I think we killed him. Honestly. Um, But if if there is a God. You know. Uh, let's move past that part. I think. Rightfully, in your right mind, you wouldn't want that sort of dirty laundry to come out. You wouldn't want that sort of stuff to come out. So you would deny it. That's understandable. That's reasonable. Now, Ben and Grace, though, they're not reasonable. They're not They're not reasonable at all. Um, so they should just come out and say it. Uh, Bronx Beats in the chat. How you doing, man? Says Dead Man Loves Finn Boys. I don't... But there is, if you put enough liquor in anybody, they're going to love a fin boy. Uh, look, here's the thing. Here's how you know you're talking to somebody who's going to be honest with you. How many beers, how many shots of tequila does it take for you to find bussy better than pussy? If you say none, you are a liar. You are a liar and you don't understand. Okay. Because a real femboy, a real femboy is going to confuse you, is going to confuse your dick, okay? I'm not talking about someone who's just posing as it, faking at it, or whatever. I'm talking about it looks legit. It's... The, the real question I want to ask for you, chat, is what is your number? How many shots, how many beers does it take? I'm not judging you. But be open. Be honest. Are you? How wasted are you, dead man? I'm not wasted at all. I I just mow the yard. That's why I'm all sweaty. I'm not even drunk. I haven't even... Oh, I'm so drunk. Oh, my God. All right, let's play this. For Tay, that included, like... That type of language, yeah. And I would joke around about it anyways. So you do admit that you, like, normalize the idea to Hey, listen, daughter, buddy, okay. I'm, you're not the prosecuting attorney. I'm a guest on your fucking stream, so how about a little respect? Well, Ben thinks he deserves respect. Ben deserves no respect. No respect at all. You're a guest on my stream because I'm yeah. confronting you about this exact situation. You're not confronting anything. You can have a conversation. I'm confronting you right now, motherfucker, Okay. Can have be questions, but I'm not I sitting like here fire. defending your I bald do. fucking head against accusation. Guys, here's the situation. I'm not drunk. I only had one shot of whiskey this morning. Uh, that was just recently on the stream. But if you want to get me drunk, you could definitely do so. You know uh, how to manipulate me and that I am totally willing for that. All right, but let's play. I'm on meth. Okay. Continuing on I mean, with maybe. this same situation, 
Would I send? You, a, would I send a, a jokingly? Who's on meth? Is Ben on meth? Or the sick guy? The bald guy? To an adult kid of mine, an emoji. Get Ben on. I've already talked to Ben. I've already talked to Ben about this. I don't. I don't have any desire to get Ben on again. I'll tell you why. Because it's just a bunch of gaslighting and circling. It, it doesn't get anywhere. And he would rage quit because I'll continue asking the same question and to the point where he just quits. He's not gonna he's not gonna do it. Yes, I would my sons too. I would say, What are you jerking off right now? Yeah, I would say that to my adult son. I don't Stop think jerking I'm, off and come to I don't like, think I'm concerned dinner. about the relationship with your son. Well, why aren't you? Because you want to clutch pearls about everything. Because a man no, can't I mean, have a healthy relationship. Because he doesn't think you're having sex with your son. He thinks you're having sex with your daughter. That's the question. How many times do you give her the D? I'm not going to get Vickers on again. We're not friendly. We're not friendly at all. <sighs> um... Look at this much money. Look at this money that Grace receives from her daddy. Look at this. You think they're not banging? You think they're not fucking? He's like, Grace, suck this meaty hog. It's not going to suck itself. Grace, get over here. Includes a... a a recognition that is 2023. Let me just explain a couple things here. Okay. First of all, we we said dirty text at first. What I mean is sexual. And you said... They're what not is, sexual, hold, but hold, yes, they're, they're... Hold on. What I mean... I'm just saying when I say dirty text, I mean sexual. Okay? And then we had but that you... mean different Hold things. on. Hold on. I, oh, I, don't, I, don't I, worry. No, don't I, worry. I, I promise you will get time to respond. Okay? You'll need it. Um, Ooh, you, tough guy. No, it, it's not even tough. You, yeah, I mean, you're a tough guy. Just even being on the you're internet addressing this shit. Are. Okay. Go ahead. Anyways, so we have you sitting there saying, what even is a dirty text? If my right. daughter sends another da daughter a text saying, uh, hey ho, or whatever, is that dirty? Well, you and I both know if I heard, I saw your daughter saying hey ho to her younger sister or the younger one to the older sister, yeah. I would not have an issue. That is not my issue. Okay. Okay, but so, people so, on the internet then, did whoa, have whoa, an whoa, issue. Wait, 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 wait no, hold, no, no, no. Hold, hold so on. People... Ben's just trying to change the topic. He's just trying to evade. That's all he's trying to do. I just want I'm, to make I'm, one I'm point. Just, I'm just people saying people on the internet need... did have an issue and accused I my daughter people on of the pedophilia. Internet. Yeah, you're you talking, are a person on the internet. You yes, are you are talking to one person. There's a ridiculous pharisaical pearl clutching nonsense culture on the internet. Of saying like that an adult can't talk to her father and use the language that is used by people not in the way that she talks to you ben it's kind of weird bro not just kind of weird it's flat out fucking weird full on weird okay like dj axel levels of weird for her to be saying bring your big daddy dick down here who the like, that is not normal. It's also weird that you slapped her on the ass the way you did. It's also weird that you'd encourage her to strip and dance uh, and, and, and tease the boys the way you did. I mean, I remember from the beginning. I know Ben from the beginning. The way he would parade Grace around for the boys to entertain the boys. He was all for that. And there's, there's messages out there of, Ben wanting Grace to have an OnlyFans. We all know why. We all know 100% why that is. That's going to come up here. And Ben's going to lie. And lie and lie. And just. Like he is just not an honest guy. He's just not an honest guy. At all. And emojis that are used by people. And they clutch pearls like you. You, you know that it's normal for a 20 year old to send joking texts to friends. And a father is, as an adult, a father can be a friend, especially if they've been accused of this crazy shit. Okay. Is that what he's leading, uh, going with? They've been accused of incest, so they're just leaning into it for the memes, for the, for the jokes. So, continuing on. Uh, you, is when, that right? The, the, is reason, that right? the reason. I got to respond to you, but you don't have to respond to me, right? No, no, no. I wasn't finished. 
you just interrupted me. I had a couple yeah. things. Yeah. So so when I when forth. I approach you about the text where your daughter sends you that your brother or I mean not brother, your son, her brother, uh yep. your, her son was your son was talking about to other people on the internet, uh right. it seems like a dismissal of the idea that she would ever send a text saying bring your meaty dick or bring your big dick up here. Um you you kind of like it, it seems really dishonest that we're trying Why does to it seem dishonest. It I'm saying it wouldn't be a big I, deal if she did say really it, but I don't dishonest. know. dishonest. We're trying to say, one, the text never happened. And if it did happen, well, my son invaded my daughter's privacy. But he two, did. Okay. Does it matter? Does it? Does yeah. inviting her privacy... It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change uh, what happened. Change whether or not that actually happened. I told you, I don't have a problem with with her sending me. She could send me I a mean, right now. Ben just acknowledged that the message did happen. Uh, because he, he acknowledged it by clarifying, by splitting hairs about the verbiage, by the vernacular of it. No, I don't have a problem with it. She's 20 years old. And she uses, she and I use language that comes from, A, being accused of this shit constantly, and B, it is the language of 2023. So since they've been accused of this by the mom, by the way, I guess they openly joke about all sorts of sexual things. Like, uh, that, that, that's crazy. I, I, I can't even fathom. Can't even fathom this. I had a police officer come here, okay, because of internet lunatics like you, and asked her at 20 years old whether she was a free to leave, which would mean she's a slave, and whether I've done inappropriate things with her. Sexually. That doesn't make this any better. In fact, you're, you're making this worse. Now you're giving us more information as to how far this has gone to where even the police has come to the home to ask... Uh, sir, um, we received a complaint and an anonymous tip that you may or may not be uh, porking your daughter. Are you porking your daughter? Is that what you're doing there, Benjamin? Fully, which is to say that that I'm molesting her, but she's an adult. It's like she's my okay, sex okay, slave. When, That's when, what you're here for. Okay, when she's you, an adult, I can do it now. That's what he's saying there. That's what he means when he says that. But you say, but she's an adult. She's have you ever, have you had sexual interactions with your daughter? I have. You could ask my daughter, but you know, no, I no, no, no. I'm asking you. Any way? I, okay, I'm answering your fucking question. I have never, in any way, with any of my kids, been verbally, sexually, physically abusive. Why? Well, okay. That is not true. You've been verbally abusive. Um, I mean, you. I would say you'd be physically abusive too, but he would say, "Oh, but they're not. They were kids anymore. They were they were grown." When he beat his son's leg, okay. definitely seen you be verbally and physically abusive. But yeah, okay. and you feel like a bit. You feel like I'm abusing you now because I'm standing. But my actually, wait, go back. He didn't actually answer the question. He didn't say no. The question is, are you having sex with your daughter? He doesn't say no. I'm not having that. Listen to how he answers. Verbally, sexually, physically abusive. Well, I've okay. definitely seen you be verbally. Okay. Verbally, physically, sexually abusive to his kids. But Grace is not a kid anymore. She's an adult. So uh, that 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 changes things in his mind. And it really does. You watch how Ben uh, forms arguments. You, you understand how he's how he's thinking and, and it's not it's not the same. He didn't actually answer the question. He didn't actually say he didn't he doesn't have sex with his daughter. He did say he didn't sexually abuse any of his kids. But at the same time though, he could he would also be the type, Ben would be the type to split hairs about the definition of abuse. Is it abuse if they enjoy it? That's something that Ben would, would question. Okay? One hundred percent and physically abusive but yeah okay. and you feel like a bit you feel like i'm abusing you now because i'm standing my ground no, i, I actually don't need to worry reputation. about myself i'm plenty yeah, safe well, I, I i do have an actual concern about platforming you which is unfortunately what good, happens then fuck off then blip me off bitch um oh actually i need to ask you something um we got to refrain from using the f slur for gay people and the n-word i don't know if you actually say the n-word but like like 
I'm on Twitch, so I'm not trying to get banned. I never use that word. And the only reason that that, see, well, you're, I, looking, you're looking at a video of a private Discord call that was not recorded by me. It was recorded by trolls. Now, let me tell you a little bit. Oh, something. now they're trolls. There was a day and time where Ben loved the Chinatown guys. He loved the Chinatown guys and the attention he got from them. But now he doesn't love them. Now they're just trolls. Something about these trolls. Well, wait, the, the, these trolls. There's a call which, being recorded. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just, you can continue explaining. It was does not you. In other words, I didn't know I was going to be on YouTube saying that. That's fine. Does a call being recorded by trolls change the honesty of your statements? Well, you said don't use the F word and I'm, don't use the N word because we're on Twitch. I'm and just I, asking. Well, you're saying, is there no context in which I would use those words if it wasn't TOS? Yeah, there's certainly a context. I could be reading Mark Twain and it would say, and Jim, right? And I, I, I think that's okay. Or if I was listening to rap music, I might sing along to it. But I don't generally use those words. I don't like those words. That's fine. I'm okay with using them. I just can't do it on this platform. Okay, so, so then yeah, I was your just asking, pearl you're not getting, was, I, no, no, was no, 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 bullshit, it, right? No, it, it, it's me telling you. He's just saying respect TOS. That's what he's saying. Please appeal to the TOS. That's all. That's all. Because okay, I don't, I I don't know. How I, open... I respect the TOS. Okay. Ooh. Anyways, and the, the things, it. the things that you say where I violated TOS was a private Discord call. I don't know with... anything about the sick guy, but if he's okay with using the F word and N word off of, uh, off of this, you know, off of Twitch, uh, is he, is he cool or is he not cool? As far as like being able to say whatever the fuck you want, like, I mean, does is. Does he get up your ass if he catches you on a stream saying the word faggot? I does he does he does he get up your ass about that? Which I understand can get picked, but but you said I recorded it and platformed it. I did not. Now let me tell you about the person who did do that. That's someone named Shamu. He is that he is he considers himself the leader of a group on the internet. They call themselves a community, but there are no communities on the internet. And it's named Chinatown. Now, these people, by their own admission, took a mentally retarded person and trolled that person into eating his own feces so that he ended up in the hospital. And they Oh, that's not. There's there's more to that. He's 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 twisting it all around. Anyway, uh, I, I think he's talking about what DJ Axel did. I think he's talking about that. They have died from that. They also may have, I don't know, convinced a mentally ill person to pour uh, lighter fluid or something on her head and light herself on fire. This is what the people that you're saying are giving you the documentary evidence are all about. That just sounds funny. That documentary is full of lies, and I've threatened legal action against that. Oh, I also told somebody to eat their shit, and they did it. Like, I didn't think they were actually going to do it, but they did. That was weird. Her bloody nose, for example, they know that she put that on jokingly. She had a bloody nose from picking her nose too much. So yeah. don't believe everything you see. Okay. I, I, I will say. Those are haters. Th threatening. Yeah. I've got plenty and you're, of haters And you're doing too. the same thing. You're lying. I'm not lying. Yeah, you are. Okay. Anyways. um, So getting back to the whole. I like how the sick guy just continues to go on. He doesn't get rattled or... Um, Ben's attempts to change the, the topic is not effective here. I like that. Well, text situation. But you're not uh, really lying. But I, I but there are, there are things you're you're you know exaggerating. No, I've got big problems with a lot of the shit that I saw. I don't care whether you have big problems. I'm saying lying has to do with what you said in this meaty dick thing you made up that was not ever alleged even to be said. Okay, now see, Ben is just lying, lying, lying out of his ass because it was alleged to have been said. You are just being completely dishonest because everybody in this fucking stream saw that accusation be made. You're saying it no. wasn't even alleged. Are you no, saying it wasn't no, well, saying saying that, that that alleged because it was big was, dick? Are you no, saying, you changed the adjective. Oh, the adjective. Oh, the yeah, right. adjective. Oh, yeah. that, that it changes yeah. everything, you know? Well, You're it right. makes it more sexually inappropriate. See, that's all Ben thinks. So that's the concern is how autistic he is about verbiage. Uh, you think he wouldn't? So if you asked him, or going back to his response, his answer to, do you have sex with your daughter? And he says he's never sexually abused any of his kids. Well, if he doesn't see it as abuse, then it's not abuse then. Uh, 
My thing is, Ben could just openly be more honest about this. There's people who are very big streamers who have been very open about this sort of thing. And it's very gross, like a Mr. Girl or a Vosh type. Or even Destiny has said some weird things about incest and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, like, he could just come clean. He could just stop lying. And it actually probably build up more of a following by weirdos, by freaks. Okay. If there's any appropriateness at all. But yes, it does. You did that. You did it. You may have done it unconsciously, but you tried to exaggerate. And you shouldn't do that. Sorry. I I should have understood. Good, right, it was just right, your daughter yes. saying to bring your big dick upstairs. Okay. Anyway. Well, I don't even know what it was, but something along those lines, maybe. Um, in that same memorize every text I say. In, in, in that same video, I mean, you, you kind of said it on stream, too, in a way, um, that... It's it's okay to send these sexual innuendos, not not just from Grace to you, but you to her in communications with your daughter. You you, you find that acceptable. If I said to my daughter, uh, can you get your ass in here, please? Because I that need is, to help. That is totally different than your daughter saying, bring your big dick down here. Jesus Christ. Why has Ben so dumb at times? Oh, he plays an idiot. He's not actually dumb. See? He's he's he knows what he's doing. That is not what I'm talking about. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You're really good at these games where you like walk around a question. Um, so well, you, she she would so be you, free with me than I would be with her. If you want so, to know, yes. So you've never exchanged any sexual innuendo with your daughter whatsoever, or think that that is acceptable but, behavior but between think, a father and a daughter. It depends what you think. I. Uh, no, it doesn't depend on what I think. I'm yes, asking what you think. It does. It does depend. Okay, so I would say, like I said to her, uh, she had a few streams back. I said, you need a you need a man to help you to take, I don't want to be your co-host. It's too, like the relationship is unhealthy. You need a swinging dick in here to help you out. Now, is that sexual innuendo? I would say, sure. But she's 20 years old. There was a stream where Grace said, <sighs> all right, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, it might be it might be on Shimu's documentary actually. There was a stream where Grace said that um, that every woman should suck their daddy's dick. That every woman should suck their daddy's dick. Find their dad and suck his dick. Why would you say that? Why does Grace think that's a okay to say? Because she sucks her dad's dick. She's good with sucking her dad's dick. I bet she's a good cocksucker. I bet she's wonderful at it. Um, but that's why she would say that. She's comfortable with saying that. I just, I'm saying you need some less big dad energy and some more big dick energy. She's 20 years old. Well, I said it not wasted or drunk, but sad panda over here because, you know, the shot glass is empty. Sad. publicly and i'm saying like i i want to get some distance break between this you and me because of this my wrist closeness that's was formed by this Why? insanity from the past you could say you can clutch your pearls and say that that's whatever you want to say it is but it's totally normal i would say it yeah yeah and actually it, it's, it's the opposite I, of incest to say like we need we need some other male energy in here i i think it's you. really cute that's nasty damn it. don't imagine such things i'm not imagining it as i say it Trust me, I'm just spitting out the words. I don't even, there's nothing, there's no mental image. That your daughter says that there's incestual behaviors between y'all. Oh, you, so you, you say incestuous. It's different than incestual. Incestuous means like in the sphere. Yes, there's an incestuous dynamic. Yes. Oh my God. The way he splits hairs around words. So he just said, yeah, yeah, there is an incestuous relationship going on here but you know that doesn't mean, really mean what you think it means like this is the same guy who'll say he's a pedophile in the greek sense as if that means a pedophile in the greek sense is still a fucking pedophile what this this guy this guy 
just can't come clean. He can't be honest. Ben needs an intervention to just come clean and be honest. Ben, we all know that you're having sex with your daughter. Just admit it. Stop lying. And I'm trying to get us out of it. Okay. And then every time I ask if you've done it. Do I have a message for Perspic? Um, I don't even really know who he is. I would have a message for him. Okay, well, I, I just asked, what? I I just asked, asked you said it It was, what, it depends I mean, on what. Like, we're not, like, friends. We don't call each other up. I'm sure he, I'm sure he does lots of cocaine, though. He seems like the type that would. He seems like the type that likes to party. So, um, I don't know. Oh, be careful of the fentanyl. That's what I'll say. What I think, but every time you give an example, it's actually not at all a sexual situation, right? But it can be by no, it can't. Like you no, it can't. It, can't. it can't because every single time you bring up an example, I'm telling you that that's not what I talk about. What I'm talking about. So I'm asking. Well, I'm asking. Do you think it's appropriate to send sexual messages between you and your daughter, whether in jest or not? Uh, it depends what you mean by sexual. But yes, I would say generally. Okay, yeah. what I mean by sexual. Here, I'll Google it for you. It, I, I know this is difficult. Okay. Here. Define sexual. Relating to the instincts, physiological processes, and activities connected with physical attraction or intimate physical contact between individuals. Right. right. Okay. That, that's very wide, right? No, that's not very wide. Uh, I yeah, would say I would say it's pretty specific when it's. They actually had to look up the definition of sexual. Back that up. Action or intimate physical contact between individuals. Right. right. Okay. That, that's very wide, right? There is no, it's not a wide definition. It's a pretty specific thing. <laughs> I mean, I think people understand what being sexual means. And if you're sexual with your daughter, uh, what that implies. If I was sexual with my neighbor's wife, my neighbor would murder me. If I was sexual with the, uh, just the woman we... Uh, at the counter at the, the, the convenience store um, and my wife found out my wife's family would murder me you know and when I say murder I mean like the actual def what do you think there's no wiggle room of that definition so I think it's I think it's pretty obvious like, like if someone says you're being sexual with someone like it's pretty obvious what it means no, that's not very wide. Uh, I yeah, would say I would say it's pretty specific when it's talking about physical attraction or intimate physical contact between well, it says individuals. Related to do you related yes, to yes? Do you think that those are appropriate things to talk about? Your uh, that's cool if he's a big fan. Bronx, you used to be a big fan, but I think I did you wrong or something. Uh, I think I don't, I don't think you really got along well with some of the other people that kind of follow me. But you know. You're cool at times. We kind of a back and forth. I kind of miss uh, ZXV, to be honest. I was going to do a, a stream about ZXV, um, but I haven't. Your daughter with? Uh, yeah, she is a sexual person. Is that okay to say? She Are has you been attracted sexualized. to your daughter? Am I sexually attracted to my daughter? No. Do I think she's attractive to men sexually? I would think so. Is that inappropriate? I mean, well, I would if, hope if you're, so. If you're, I would hope so. I hope young men find her attractive. I'm, I'm maybe that's against the law now. Yeah, I mean, I would at least consider it inappropriate if you're on YouTube well, telling your daughter that you wish she was a Twitch streamer and she should start an OnlyFans. Yes, I would consider I that inappropriate. I stand by that. Yeah, she should be. Oh, so it's inappropriate for me to encourage her to develop her career. Okay, remember this, guys. This did happen. Okay, you probably already seen it already, but yes, Ben did encourage Grace to start an OnlyFans. And a Twitch stream. We all know what that means. We all know what the implication is. What Ben means by the OnlyFans thing. And in fact, let me go back here. Go back to the memories of the times, the times when Ben and Grace would be in the VC 
in Chinatown, and they would also joke about starting an OnlyFans for the reasons why you think. Because Ben would try to parade Grace around in a very sexual manner to the guys. And some of the guys, oh, yeah, they, they definitely took they, uh, they took the offering and they had fun. Definitely it did. That, that did happen. And Ben saw nothing wrong with that. Uh, Ben's words was that she's a grown adult and she can make up her mind. Um, ben has no sees nothing wrong with uh, Grace licking her own panties when Hormax told her to lick her panties. Um, so we do know, with this context I'm giving you here, this information, is that there's no way for Ben to deny that he didn't know, that he didn't mean the whole OnlyFans thing in a sexual way. But he's going to spend this time here to try to lie to sick, lie to me, lie to you, like we're a bunch of freaking idiots, like we're born yesterday, don't know any better. He's going to try to say that the OnlyFans thing was not sexual and that it's weird to think so. You're a Twitch streamer, you little idiot. No, no, no. You're a Twitch no. streamer. Oh, but before he does that, first he's going to take an issue with the Twitch streaming part of it, which this is, this is, this is how you argue around without like actually talking about what the real issue is. Ben knows the Twitch stream thing is not the issue. It's the OnlyFans thing. So he makes it about the Twitch thing. Ah, no. Right now. I am not Grace's father. So your father should tell you not to Twitch stream? Why? No, it's it's not it's not or your deterring mother? her. It's not deterring her from doing anything. It's you are the one who's planting the seed and making the active effort. You're sick. Sick should have corrected it from the beginning, when Ben misunderstood on purpose. But he he does correct it. It just takes him a minute. The streamer. To so I'm encouraging her to go on Mind you, and be successful. Mind you, what? you're asking her to pursue the sexual career while you're saying, Why is oh, it a it's sexual so, career? So bad are you that doing a sexual, is this your sexual, sexual career? Relationship. Wait a second. You're saying a Twitch streamer is a sexual career. So you are a sex worker. Is that right? Do you think all streamers are the same? Well, you said it's a sexual career for her to stream on no, Twitch. No, OnlyFans is. This is what Only I mean about is you. Okay. So I don't, so Sick did not catch it in the beginning uh, when they got onto this topic. So he had this whole like almost a minute of Ben arguing about nothing, which is his chat caught on to that. It was like, what is this? And everyone could see what he's doing. Being not dishonest. It's you don't fans actually want to engage with the fact that you might have actually engaged with in some inappropriate behaviors with your daughter. And you so you're a actually, sex worker you're and you don't want her to go down the path that you've gone down on Twitch. You know what the sad part about this is, is the reason I was even hesitant to want you on stream. Like, oh, God, like, please. I'm doing you a favor, buddy. You got 38 in uh, the chat. Okay, I don't think you understand how much these streams fluctuate. It does help me. Don't get me wrong. It does. Yeah, right. It's good content. You should be grateful. It's fine. You can come at me hard. I've let you come at me hard, but you just fucking said no, I... that it's inappropriate for me, as Grace's father, to suggest to her, who is an adult, that she should Twitch stream why much does... the way you are. Well, what, why <laughs> you said okay. that that's a sexual career. You got to walk that back, brother. And OnlyFans is not. Pornhub. OnlyFans, in fact, in 2021 wanted to ban pornographic content. I have never encouraged and they my daughter couldn't because to do it's 95% pornography. of their. That is a lie. Ben has encouraged, uh, j uh, joked around. No, Ben has encouraged told Grace to do feed pics and things like that. Uh, ben has encouraged Grace to entertain the guys in the way you think. Uh, that has definitely happened platform they couldn't well, ban they it clearly, because they would well, have lost 95 percent of their creators i Tell understand they made a business platform. decision they made a business decision but there are other things on only fans other than porn just they, like on twitch they made a business you decision. are the person who made the assumption well, the fee picks can you see i don't have any on hand uh ben, uh great grace's ass pick is circulating on the internet it's not good though i wouldn't show it first off it would be considered revenge porn and that is no bueno, guys. Revenge porn is wrong. Remember that. 
Revenge porn is wrong. Don't do it. With that said, I've seen it. And I could tell you, Grace is not breeding material. She has no hips. You might get one kid out of that thing. Okay? Look, man, and some of you guys, if you want uh, if you want a woman you're going to be able to breed with, if it gets c- concerned about your lineage, you're going to want to find a white girl with some nice breeding hips or a Hispanic girl with some nice breeding hips. Now, you might be like, Oh, I'm concerned about the white race and I don't want to mix with the Hispanic, but you're going to get a lot of kids and there's still a lot of white in the genes. If that's if that's the thing that you get hung up on. I know some of you guys get hung up on. I'm all about uh, mixing. I'm okay with that. Okay. You already know that. But some of you guys, I have to kind of convince you the otherwise uh, the other way also you actually enhance the white race because you make it to where they can tolerate the sun a little bit more because they don't burn as much okay all right that fair white skin is no bueno in the sun that's spanish for not good no good actually okay it's just it might look hot and sexy but the sun don't love it, okay? All right? This has been an education. You can enhance the white race if you breed with a Hispanic woman. Bronx Beat says no to that. Well, I mean, okay, then don't. Then don't enhance, okay? I want my kids to be able to mow a freaking yard very efficiently, okay? All right? I want my kids to be able to handle spicy foods, okay? That if a female is on Twitch, it's sexual content. You no, made that assumption. No. You yes, ma- you did. You, you made said it it's sexual. a sex career. The ma- Let's be honest. Every single Twitch streamer that has an OnlyFans, if they have both, I guarantee you they do sex work. 100% guarantee I will put all my money on that bet. If they have a Twitch and they have an OnlyFans, they're doing sex work. By sex work, I don't need to define it. If you're taking nudies... Take a pictures of yourself naked, put it on the internet for money. That's sex work, okay? If you're make if if you're making money doing sexy stuff, that's sex work. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, then that might include modeling, but modeling is not really sex work. But but there's a side industry connected to modeling of escorts and stuff. So, but that's a whole other thing. We're, let's get back onto this. That's right, Bex. Not being able to handle spicy foods is a sign of weakness. If you can't handle spicy foods, you're weak. You know what they did with the weak back in Sparta days? They threw them off of cliffs. I'm not even drunk yet, and I'm sounding like unhinged. The minute you brought up OnlyFans. You made it sexual the minute you brought up OnlyFans. And I'll do, I would do OnlyFans too. I encourage her to do OnlyFans. I encourage everyone. I know what I'm going to have to do. Okay. Because some of my prior actions have upset some people. I need to do a stream where I sort of, in a way, get so. I, I need to get blacked out drunk on stream for my past sins, I suppose. My past sins. I need to do that. That, that would be a fun stream. Maybe we'll do that tonight. I have no idea what's going to happen tonight. OnlyFans wants non-pornographic content. It's a different thing to say, use a platform. I'm not, did you ever hear me say, like, you should upload stuff to Pornhub? No, because that is a pornographic. OnlyFans right, wants to title. be more mainstream. 
porn is in the in the title. It'd be hard to yeah, claim only like, plausible deniability. So it's like Patreon. <laughs> I understand that it has skewed uh, largely towards pornographic content, but you would admit that Twitch has too, because you implied that a female on Twitch is basically a cock tease. And I do think that's largely what it is. If they have, if they're on Twitch and they have OnlyFans, they are a cock tease. Your pearl clutching lefty values I don't give a shit about. I don't care if a woman's a whore. I'll call her a whore. Why am I slurring my words? I'm emphasizing everything I'm saying. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm using the, I'm using the stream talking voice. Um, repent, senior deadman. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna have a repent stream. I see that coming very soon. Well, you can't hit myself with a whip. That's against TOS, but I can get so drunk that I puke on stream. That's never happened before. You're saying I'm whoring out my daughter by having encouraging her to do Twitch streams. I don't think so, unless you're a whore too. Are you a whore? Sometimes. You said you're a whore. Sometimes. We're all okay, whores. But this doesn't look like sexual content. Not, I mean, maybe there's a here's girl. another true fact. Okay, 100% real coming from me, coming from Dead Man. You can clip this out. If you are a streamer, if you're a streamer and you make money on streams, you are a whore too. There's a whore in you. You have whore tendencies. Look at that. That is a horror tendency right there. Every streamer has something like that. Granted, I'm at the bottom of the barrel right now and don't receive anything right now because, you know, it is what it is. I piss a lot of people off, I guess. But, you know, that will change. But one thing, the mentality is there. Horror mentality. I'll be honest with you and let you know that's what it is. Other streamers will be like, no, 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 I'm not a whore. No, 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 no. As if that's a bad thing. As if it's bad to be a whore. The world loves whores. Whores make the world go round. Sure. Here, with the ball, no shit. But right now it's not looking like it. Okay. Anyways. So well, my... look, she just walked by me with shorts on. And is that whoring her out? Am I inappropriate to, to have her 20 year old walk by me in shorts? I think it's pretty normal to wear shorts. Okay, but Ben, there's no problem with Grace wearing shorts. But if you slapped her on the ass, that would be a problem. You decide you what's normal and abnormal, but you just pearl clutched that I encourage her to be doing what exactly what you're doing right now, which is Twitch streaming. You didn't so just, don't you think you should you get it didn't clear? just encourage Twitch streaming. You encouraged Twitch streaming with the There was a super chat? There wasn't even a super chat. What are you talking about? There was no super chat. Did a super chat even appear on screen? What are you talking about? There is no super chat. Only fans on the side. There is I don't only one about reason it. that happens on Twitch. Okay? It doesn't matter if there's an exception to the rule. You know what you said. You know it what it matter. means. And you're trying to play stupid because you're doing no. this fucking stupid ass plausible deniability claim. Or, no, or I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's fucking stupid. Hold on a minute. I will. I will concede this. Okay. So the OnlyFans thing is often associated exclusively with pornographic. Always. Content. Always. No. Always. Well, in people's minds it is, but in OnlyFans yes. it's not. There are people who do food, music, and stuff like that. It's not a hundred percent. People don't care about that stuff though. When you say OnlyFans, they know what you mean. They mean naked. It's not. But I will grant you that it is a large percent of the content. Okay, I'll grant you that. But and and I will grant you that there is a provocative thing. I'm actually going to about check. me saying you should do OnlyFans, right? It, it, right. It, but you also would grant me that on the internet, when you say something like that, people get all a uh, tither like you. And if I can come back and say like, no, I'm not saying degrading, then it makes good content. But I mean it sincerely. But I understand that I'm leaning in, and that people will take it the wrong way. But fuck people who no, take no, it no, no, the no, wrong no, way no. is my point. It's not that. Fuck it. Hold on. It's not that people are taking it the wrong way. Yeah, it you is. just no, no, no. This, this you is took it the wrong this way. is the nice thing, the cute little behavior that all provocateurs like to engage in, which is yeah. well, I was just being no. Uh, there, I, I even checked. I even checked, man. There, there was no uh, super chat there, but uh, I will say, uh, if you like this, you know what to do. Spread it around, man. Let people know I'm streaming. Let's get some people in here, and uh, have a good time, man provocative so i don't know why people are getting in a tizzy but yeah. you are provocating something when you are making provocation or when you're right. making a provocation so what are you provoking right. 
What are you trying I'm to get provoking. people to think? Okay, are you trying to question. get people to That's think that a dad is suggesting his daughter do a sexual platform and he be the well, encouragement behind it? Well, you said two sexual it. platforms. No, said I only said... It, man, this guy doesn't even know all the conversations Ben had with us like in, in the VC about Grace, with Grace. And these conversations were like kind of weird and shady and greasy and sexual in nature has no idea if he did if he did oh man there's gonna be a part two to shamu's documentary and uh, it's gonna be great one i no, no, only said, said one two. i don't care if I your daughter's a twitch chat. streamer you i don't even two. care if your daughter's you an did. only you fans whore it. she can be an only fans whore but she I could be an only fans, only fans whatever, my problem streamer. with that situation. You're lying now. See, you're a liar because you, 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 your mother taught you how to no, lie. No, like okay. You said both platforms. Yeah, I said both platforms because you've and been then you said playing the, the you career. want me to. DSP man scamming donos. You, you, know, you guys know I don't scam donos. I read. And nothing came on the screen. You guys, you guys just have to bust my balls exactly quote you and so i made sure to exactly quote you so i'm going to bring up the entirety of your dono or comment whatever the fuck it is i don't care about twitch I care oh i didn't check the greasy uh the, the the grossly stoic thing that's something we could watch actually later on um that would be cool it'd be cool if we did man that a dad was trying to promote his daughter getting on OnlyFans, especially when you admit that and it's I a do. provocation, and especially I... when you sit there and try to pretend there is no sexual nature between your daughter or that that's not really a thing you guys do because every example you bring up is just you saying ass in a comment or you say, like, all these yeah. non-sexual things. Well, you understand that to be non-sexual, but I do want to answer your question. What am I trying to make people think about? And I will answer that because a provocateur who's just provoking for the sake of provoking is just, you know, a waste of time. But I would like to provoke this on the internet that we need to all calm down a little bit about no. sexuality because we live in a the internet environment right so i'll give you an example okay fine you could say what you think we should hype it up you don't think there is a lot of gray areas here where people are accused of i don't know if i can say this the p word uh the r word right it gets crazy we live in a puritanical culture you yourself said i'll use the n word and the f word and Off i don't stream. think it's that big of a deal i'm okay. just letting ben talk right now the stuff he's saying is insane, especially if you take into in, in, into account the stuff he's done or the stuff he said. But but you're saying like it's not that big of a deal in certain contexts. I doubt you're a racist. I doubt you're homophobic when you use those words. But you might say them with your boys, right? When you're having beers, and everyone does, right? But it gets a little puritanical when we get on stream, right? It gets, it's a, there's a little bit of a Phariseeism there because yes, it depends how you use those words, right? It could be racist. It could okay. be homophobic. Okay. But Can I in certain contexts, no. But you're like, well, TOS. Okay. So I agree with you, but I would use those words also in a certain context in which it's not homophobic and not racist. But there are other contexts where it's inappropriate, right? It is genuinely racist and homophobic. Yeah. So I will be okay with occasional usage of certain words off the platform because I'm a little bit more relaxed. I don't think right. I don't I don't think that you're behaving anymore. When you suggest something like a sexual career to your daughter, I don't think that that I is did not suggest a sexual career to but my daughter. you did, Ben. Stop lying. Stop lying. You did. You did. You want your daughter to shake her ass at OnlyFans. Why don't you just say it? You want your daughter to have a hot tub stream. You, that was one of the first, one of the first things you said. I remember across the past with Ben a long time ago, and he joked about doing a hot tub stream. And he was like, Grace, you do a hot tub stream. Like, Ben knows what he's saying is a lie. Like, he's definitely encouraged Grace to do things of a sexual nature that would bring the attention because he knows his daughter brings the attention. Daughter. Okay, so so your relation, your your suggestion. Unless what you're doing is a sexual on. career, but I don't hold think you're, on. You're, you're knocking it out of the your park. Your suggestion sexually. of her to have an OnlyFans had nothing to do with what you find to be attractive in your daughter. Hey, let, let me give you an example. I'll, I'll answer that question by saying something. Okay, when I first came on the internet, I was interested in religion. My daughter, who's like younger than me, better at tech, was running tech. I suggested she come on as my co-host. Now, I was originally in. I guess you would call it the debate sphere, you know what I mean? Destiny, that kind yeah, of stuff, but a very low level, and the conspiracy sphere, which is 95, 97% males. Okay, 
did I think that her being on stream in a non-degrading way, talking with her father, would bring young men to the platform? Yes, I did. Did I, when people said, you're pimping out your daughter. In modern day they, time. I, I said, yeah, well, if you want to say that young men who I want to have come talk to me are interested, it, that it benefits the optics to have a beautiful young adult. Okay, I want to ask you guys something. Do you want to move to the stoic situation? Actually, let's skip ahead. I would, this, Ben does rage quit. Ben rage quits here, okay? He rage quits. <clears throat> And I want you to see that, okay? We'll play this last part. All right. Hold on. I have no memory. I don't know. Saying, I think I'm the most sexual woman in the world. I, don't, I, I, I was told, I have a, someone who goes to my chat who's a 16-year-old girl. I was told, like, it's really, really a problem. I was like, what would be the problem? Right. Should I press I chat with her? I would meet her in person. I would tell a six-year-old girl that her dress looked pretty. Ben, Ben, Ben. I would tell I chat with her. I would meet her in person. I would tell a six-year-old girl. I was girl, Ben saying that he would chat with a 15-year-old and meet with her in person. And Sick is pushing Ben to answer that question. Why are you meeting a 15-year-old? What's going on with that? Oh, that her dress looked pretty? Ben, Ben. Okay, so how am I supposed to interpret that? I, I actually didn't press watch stream. But go ahead. So did I say I, I would meet with her in private? Did I say I have hold met on, with her? Hold on. Hold on. You said I'd talk to her and we, yeah. I would meet her and uh, meet, uh, meet. What did you say? God damn it. One second. Ben. Ben. I would really meet with problem. her. I was like, what would I be the problem? problem? I chat with her. I would meet her in person. I'd chat with her. I would meet her in person. Yeah. I oh. would, implying that you did. Okay. What Without is wrong parents with that? present? I didn't say without her parents present. You yeah, well, no, 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 fucking doing this. I, okay. Stop fucking Hold lying. Hold on. You never responded. You never said with her parents present at all. You didn't say. Oh, my God. Adding and you're shit. Yes, you I, are adding you're, shit. You're adding Stop stuff in doing post. doing it, buddy. You're adding stuff Stop in. doing it. You're, you're pretending like you omitted her parents being present. But what you said is you don't meet her alone. You go there to visit with her, your daughter. That's what you said. You didn't say I said anything I would meet with her. parents. I, I just said I would meet with her. I didn't say I would meet with her with Grace. I just said I would meet with her, which means there is a s situation in which I would meet with her. And the assumption that you should make is, and it would be totally appropriate. Fans meet with their... We should assume their, that when a 50-year-old man... Meet with take their a fans. look at his chat, too. Hold on. I'm kind of curious what they're saying. Oh, it looks like the chat is talking with Grace about the mom. <laughs> Saying that a lot of people are worried about your mom in this situation, and hopefully she gets help and then can help the kids get out of that situation, whatever they're in. I'm sorry. We should assume that when a 50-year-old goes to meet a 16-year-old, of course they're doing it in an appropriate way. Yeah, you should, you, you should assume if I say I would meet with a 16-year-old fan, you should assume, right? It's called charity. No. That I am saying, all right, so you're no. not a charitable person. You're a fucking he, asshole. And may you fucking rot in hell, I'm, bitch. Yeah, he's leaving. Because uh, he, he bounced. He bounced. So Sick uh, won that. He won that situation. Okay. Now, we're going to move. We're going to change course to the stoic guy i'm drenched in sweat you know apparently i've been drinking all day i haven't been drinking i don't have any beers in the freezer yesterday last night i had three beers that was the first time i had a beer since vegas since i got back and that was like almost a week ago so i've actually been cutting back but that can all change here tonight. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to piss out there. Okay. In my, my neighbor's yard. I piss on his dog. I don't like his dog. No, I'm just joking. I'll be right back. Oh, that's an ugly, ugly image. That's much better. Um, She's probably like 20 or something. You know, let's change that. Let's change it to what is what is the image I'm using for the thumbnail? 
Uh, let's use... I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Let's just use this, this one. This is fine. This, this is fine. All right. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll put the music on. Okay, back. But let's make it announced. Let's change the title of the stream because let me add getting drunk for my sins. And I'm going to reshare the link uh, in various places and announce that um, it's time for me to repent for things. Um, Sharing this thing around now. I think they will like it.
All right. So I'm also going to watch um, the stoic guy. Let's do that. Alrighty. Alright, we're set now. So we're gonna watch Reform Stoic. We're gonna learn about this guy. This video is from Grossly. He's a very good video um, producer. Very good. He's something of a um, what do you call it? He he likes to create documentaries on people. Um. We're gonna we're gonna watch you. We're gonna learn about the stoic guy. I do plan on getting drunk here very soon. And stupid levels of drunk. To repent for my past. I, I don't wanna really confuse uh, merging these two topics that uh, together at once might be chaotic it may not work but we'll see first let's watch the stoic guy times it's incredibly rare to find true examples of stoicism the current technologically infused world we live in means we can have anything we want or desire with just a few clicks and the answer to any question in the palm of our hands at all times. But this has caused people to become weak, emotional and needy. Most people live their lives based on emotional decisions, whereas all a right, true stoic the is indifferent to pleasure, joy, as well as pain or sorrow. A true stoic never complains or places blame on others for the comings and goings of their lives. They simply get on with things like nothing matters. Today, we will be diving into the life. Oh, that's a whole other topic idea. The subliminal messages behind me. There's so much I need to repent for. You have no idea. You don't even know what I did in Vegas. I probably contributed to... Uh, you know what? I can't... I can't say. Life of a man who encapsulates Stoicism. Entirely. The Reformed Stoic is truly one of modern times purest examples of stoicism and for the past five years he's made countless videos and live streams showcasing his stoicism all right let's take a look at a recent stream of his to see just how this modern day manifestation of marcus aurelius ponders okay. many flaws in society i'm better than this network and i don't even you know no offense guys no offense, like, fat, fucking dying, alcoholic, sacks of shit people, but I'm, like, talented, bro. My rap is fucking dope, and, uh, none of you guys can do anything as good as I rap. Let's be real. None of you Let's be real, guys. This guy can rap. Is that right? What about Cyrax? Is he, is he better than Cyrax? That Cyrax guy? You guys can do anything as good as I play drums. Let's be real. I'm, I'm way fucking- When this guy says he can rap- it's kind of like Gothic King Cobra saying he can play guitar, right? I mean, we're, there's going to be some examples, I'm sure. Fucking smarter than you. Like, let's just be honest for like five seconds. Can we be honest for five seconds? I'm smarter than you. I play drums better than you. I rap better than you. And I'm better than this network. Okay? Five, sen five seconds of honesty. Can you handle that? Oh, I have no idea who you are, these- I have no idea who you are, dude. No idea who you are, man. He sips his Coca-Cola like somebody. a bag. Try to be somebody. Be somebody who anybody has any fucking idea who they are, and Sorry, then... Sorry, uh, for TOS and YouTube is changing. I could say that because I am a queer. I've earned that right. I just want to put that out there. Everyone in the chat knows I'm a gay- 
So I've earned that right. Sponge can can Sponge can let people know I'm I'm gay. I could say the word queer. I mean fag. I could say that. I'm also the part black, so I could say nigger too. I mean, I've drank like not one, not two, not three, maybe like five bottles of King Cobra malt liquor. I smoked black and milds. Um and I abandoned my kids for a little bit during my jobless stint. Yeah, I, I am. I am part part black. A sponge. I don't think they know that I'm part black. So can you spread the word? I'm part black. I can say nigger too. And maybe I'll beat your ass. Sound good, little bit nobody? Become somebody who anybody gives a fuck about, and then I'll beat your fucking ass. Okay, buddy? My old rap isn't that great. But the way that you guys have reacted to my old rap, it just makes me realize that, like, I deserve more support, dude. Even when I was, like... Well, give him support. You know, the lucid Let's hip-hop is like, eh. It deserved more credit. The shit I did deserved more credit, dude. I was around fucking asshole nobodies who tried to make me insecure because they're fucking garbage, bro. And it's like, wow, I'm 32, and I've been living in a black hole for, like, a decade, and it's like, it's fucked up, bro. Sounds fucked up. I don't know, man. And living I don't want to, like... Hole. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get sing out Sing my own praises, but, yeah, I just... I got some skills, bro, and it's like, so I have to have a shitty life because I have skills? That doesn't make any sense. I'm tired of my reputation, dude. I'm tired of the way people talk to me. Like, Todd Thundercock... You're a skinny fucking nobody, bro. Hey, like, no, I might just show up at your house up. one day. Tart Thundercock is a good man. You shut the hell up, Stoic. And beat the fuck out of you, honestly. The way you keep talking to me on IP2, like... His you're... name is Thundercock. You're not beating the crap out of him. I'm sorry. Just not happening. Skinny fucking nobody who makes incel videos. Like, just try not to kill yourself again, all right, little buddy? Like seriously, dude. This thundercock stream. I might just show stream? up at your house and like Do we have knock on your door and be like, "Hey, you want me to beat the fuck out of you?" Because you're a skinny fucking nobody who cries about how worthless your life is. Like, I literally get made fun of by incels, which means nothing. It means that people are pretending that I'm nothing when I'm more talented than everybody around me, and I'm tired of it. No, dude, not in Roblox. Like in real fucking life. Like, in real fucking life, show up at his house and knock on his door. Like, hey, dude, you talked all that shit. What's up? <laughs> I worked shitty fucking minimum wage jobs while my roommates did jack shit, and they had fucking girlfriends because they are rich. Okay. The kind of privilege <laughs> that I was surrounded by in Boston. Who's Jaldi? I've seriously got it from Jaldi both is. angles, dude. But okay. Everybody in Boston hates me because to I told them they're all a bunch of fucking spoiled rich kids. And everybody in Kodiak hates me because they think I'm a spoiled rich kid. You guys have no idea, bro. Isn't this guy a rich kid? You have no like trust fucking fund idea how much fucking disrespect I've had to take because I'm so much more fucking talented than everybody. Nobody wants to see you make it, dude. But drop those bars, they man. Let's hear it. shit on you because they're fucking jealous little faggots, man. I'm pretty tough for my size. Can, can we take a, a moment to listen to a stoic rap? Would that be appropriate? How quickly could I find a stoic rap? I want to hear a stoic rap. Um... It, oh, it, th this is it. <clears throat> Late night FaceTime. Ah, I remember this. I've seen this stuff. Done. Comes real, this will take shape. Past was living mass, now it's nothing but dead space. Flew over the cuckoo's nest. Let me out of the steel gate. I played the That's right, man. He looks he looks hard as fuck. Don't be messed with that guy. Don't be messing with that guy. Oh, look, the Adams guy in the chat. He can definitely attest to the fact that I'm black. I am part black. He knows. I can't say how he knows, but he knows I'm part black. I can eat a watermelon like no 
other person, dude. Okay? I can. A bucket of fried chicken, watermelon, Gothic and Cobra, malt liquor, black and milds. Dude, I am black. Talk and then after I close my case. Yeah, close case, open windows like Bill Gates. I'd be living the high life up in the band. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the uh, Well, it was not the worst rap I've heard. But it's not like the best. Bro, and I seriously like want to put hands on people. Because people Don't have been put trying hands to shove people. me down for so long and eventually it's like, oh, fucking get your hands off me. BAM! Eventually it's like, no, fuck you. I'm better than you. I'm fucking tired of it, dude. As you can see, this man is clearly a bastion of stoicism. Yeah. Void of all emotion, He's very stoic. the reformed stoic truly represents <laughs> all the hallmarks of what makes up a true stoic. Yeah. Reformed Stoic is possibly one of the most talented men currently walking among us. He is an excellent drummer, an intellectual genius, and a master of the arts of ninja. I got grossly. I need to be on shrooms or watching your, uh, your your videos. This 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 moving Ninja Turtle mask. If I was on shrooms right now, it would be so fucking trippy. Sue, he is also perhaps the greatest rapper of all time. And used to go under the stage name of Rally. Bitch, I All right, we got some of his raps. <laughs> oh, they're coming for you, Stoic. They're looking for you. Does this have to say bad boy on it? This is rude boy? Yo. What I feel becomes real, this will take shape. Past was living mass, now it's nothing but dead space. Flew over the cuckoo's nest, let me out of the steel gate. I played the court like a guitar, and then after I closed my case. Yeah, closed case, open windows like Bill Gates. I be living the high life, up in the BAM hollow estate. People, you made a mistake, you shouldn't have come to my place. I got demons to follow me, and they do whatever I say. Why is there a random, like, Native American dude there? Drop bombs like Tim McVeigh, I am a mastermind. Well, wasn't that the greatest example of lyricism you've heard in your life? Yeah, How man, he's a, he's, he's a poet. He's he's a, a wordsmith. He's the next Kanye. Hasn't been offered a record contract yet. What's his I'll opinion on uh, the Jews and uh, Hitler? Never understand. Another noteworthy factoid about Reform Stoic is that he is possibly one of the greatest martial artists of this generation. Oh no, shit, huh? Oh look at that. He can rap and he can fight. It's not something Stoic talks about often. And like all the great martial artists of modern time, he is very humble about his skills in the oh, deadly yeah. arts. Yeah, humble is his So many name. weird fucking evil people, man. I just want to knock all your faces in, dude. I'm getting in really good shape, dude. I just want to knock right, your dude. fucking face in. And I could easily. Okay. I'd easily just fucking destroy you, bro. I Why is this guy kind of reminding me of Gothic and Cobra in a, in a bit? Except, um, there's some similarities and of course there's some differences. Imagine it. I imagine some guy being cocky to me and I just hit him with a bam, 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 bam. Guys, I'm pausing to let you know, in this stream, I do plan on getting drunk to make up for my past sins. I do need to repent for some things I've done, I suppose. Okay. And so, uh, while that is cool. That I'll definitely honor that. Okay. Um, I have these these root beer, um well this is root beer and this is fruit punch. This is little shot things I found in the and the the fridge. Um so there's that. And um after this this video, I, I do plan on doing a whole thing of drinking uh until I puke on stream to repent for my sins. Okay. I'll do that. Falls down, get the fuck up. Oh, dude, get up. You talk that shit, get up. They get back up.
Go ahead, go ahead. They try to throw me, they hit, lands on my guard. Boom, boom, boom. They fall down again. Get the fuck up. Get up! Get up! You want to talk shit? Get up! And just make them get up over and over again. And people are like, dude, no, come on, dude. It's cool, man. I think you... Shut the fuck up! Get up! Make him get up over and this over and over again. Down one bam, 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 bam. Just fucking knock him down over and over and over again until they're a battered, bloody fucking pulp, smashed orbital bones, smashed fucking ribs, teeth knocked out of their stupid fucking face. How, how did he get so humble? I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with how humble and modest this guy is. And I'll take a fucking piss on him. And be like, if anybody touches me, I will fucking kill you. Scary. That short- Ah, it's worse with the lighting. Please, go back to the dark. Little fucking fat Mexican. Man, he would get fucking lit up. Hey, no, man, leave the Mexican alone. That goofy little short midget Mexican guy I keep seeing on his little bike in his red fucking sedan. That guy would get lit the fuck up. Man, I would knock the fucking shit. He's just trying to mow yards, man. He's just trying to go around and mow yards, and you want to beat up the Mexican lawn mowing guy. Why? Get that fat little manlit boomer, dude. Man, would I fuck that guy up. Man, that guy looks like a bitch. Clearly, Stoic knows just how deadly his fists can be. Occasionally, Stoic will showcase some of his fight. He looks like he would work at Fry's Electronics moves to demonstrate just how he would react if he were ever to find himself in a self-defense situation. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Fight. That's great. Oh. Did they somehow get it to where they're like actually hitting each other? That'd be super duper. <laughs> oh, that combo, man. Look at that. You can't get. You're not going to be able to block that. Oh, Bob and Weave. Okay, he wants to fight in real life. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, he speaks Chinese too. I didn't know that. Four five multiplier combo. Oh, whoa. Wow. Lots of uh, slip left, slip right. You just gotta like. I think he would break his wrist just hitting me. I think, I think he would throw a punch. It would hit me in my gut, and I'd be like, "Are you are you done?" It'd be like when my daughter tries to attack me, but she just finds that funny. He finds that funny. Chase somebody down while you like throw a slip in between every punch. I'd be like Zingief. I'll just put him in a bear hug and be done with it. Okay, that that's that's what I would do. Your money should be on Stoic. Put your money on Stoic. <laughs> Look at those moves, man. I can't compete with that. That's just too much. <laughs> Super combo, dude. I don't know about you, but that display of the secret hidden ninjutsu techniques has left me terrified. But why would a charming man like Reform Stoic need to be so deadly? 
Why would he need to be ready to fight at a moment's notice? To defend his life at any given time? Well, lots of people are jealous of Reform Stoic's clear genius and talent. Ah. So much so, multi-million dollar conglomerations are willing to send assassins to his home to kill Bitcoin him. Bitcoin assassins? Is that the kind of assassins we're talking about? Yeah. Including Uber Eats. Oh. For anybody who doesn't get it, I'm going to try to calmly explain what just happened. All right. I don't even, like, what the fuck just happened, dude? I, I don't so know, you're supposed to explain it. Who's getting paid $8 an hour to drive Uber Eats, which is a shitty job. He's getting paid to deliver shitty fast food. He calls me on my private phone. Yes. To, to say, hey, they don't have what you ordered. Right. Do you want me to bring it anyway, or do you want to cancel? And I say, I want to cancel. So he says, great. Cancel it on the app. And I say, I don't know how. Not my problem. Don't come to my house. Cancel the order. I do not know how to use the app, but you work for Uber. Your job is to work for Uber. And I said, no order. That means don't come to my house. He ignored well, my- Why don't you just figure out how to use the app? How about that? It's not complicated. It's made for idiots to figure out. Calls. He ignored my messages explaining not to come to my house. And he picked up the food and he was on the way to my house. Because you didn't cancel the order. Cancel the order, idiot. And you ordered it. You ordered the Uber and now you're complaining about the Uber delivering it to you? What is this? He's just doing his job. So I'm frantically trying to get Uber support that, to keep- It's a plot to assassinate him. Yeah, it's actually coming over to kick his ass. Keep this fucking kid from getting his head bashed the fuck in. And they're like, oh, this will take a few minutes and blah, 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 blah. Is there anything else we can help you with? <clears throat> and they're just being completely fucking rude the whole time. Completely dismissive. I'm sorry, we can't respond anymore. Click. I call the number. Nobody's here. Click. No fucking service, nothing. So you're going to pay a fucking eight-year-old to come harass me at my home. But the guy's eight years old? What are you talking about? Like, dude, I don't give a fuck what the Uber driver who works at Uber Eats wants. The customer's always right. I don't give a flying fuck what the $8 an hour Uber Eats driver wants. He can do what his job is or he can lose his fucking job. Now, if the customer, if you call the customer on their private phone, oh, wow, you have my private phone number. I you made the order on your phone. They're going to call you in case they need, if they need to. That's how Uber works. It's DoorDash is the same thing. Uber Eats does the same thing. Grubhub, whatever, same thing. Like, it's not complicated, dude never told you guys you could call me on my private phone, so you're already violating my privacy. Hello? This guy should be banned from, like, every app because he's just he's just an idiot. Oh, stranger who's violating my privacy, who has my private information? Yes, would you like to cancel the order? Yes. Click. My job is done. I told the employee that I don't want the order. So I understand how maybe there could be a host of confusion, but none of it is my fucking problem. None of it's my problem. And if you think the solution is to ignore my messages and drive up to my fucking house, boy, oh boy, are you in for a rude fucking awakening. I don't care what the fucking- The vein on his neck is popping. You see that? Let's make that bigger. Look at that. Look at the vein on the side of his neck. Problem is, I don't care what the fucking Look confusion how mad he is. is. If I tell you not to come to my he home, just ordered food and he's pissed off that he received the food. And you act like you're gonna drive to my fucking home. I will fucking kill you. No excuse. I don't give a fuck about the app. I don't give a fuck about the eight dollar an hour faggot. I don't give a fuck about McWendy's Drive Empire. 
If I tell you not to come to my house and you're at your job and you act like you're going to come to my house anyway, I will fucking kill you. And it will be within my rights as an American citizen. Don't you fucking dare. 100% stoic. 100%. Totally in the right. Just just murder the Uber Eats driver as they drop off your McDonald's or whatever. Okay? Well, eat. eat. Come to my fucking house when I tell you you're not allowed to come to my house. He was ignoring my fucking messages. That little fucking shit thought it was funny. If you come to my fucking house when I told you not to, it's a felony and I'm suing fucking Uber Eats. I'm Go ahead and sue him. Go ahead. Sue him as much as you would like. Suing you for sending a fucking assassin to my house. <laughs> and you think it's a joke. Like... I'm too angry to be calm about it, but like I, I'm missing where the guy was an assassin though. I mean, did he get out and try to kick his ass? Try to kill him? I mean I'm fucking furious, dude. I am furious. I'm trying to follow his logic here and it's some eight dollar an hour faggot is gonna threaten to drive to my fucking house when I told him not to for his job. I'm so fucking furious, dude. I was in the middle of cleaning the house. I was cleaning the house. I was listening to music. I was going to shave. I was doing laundry. I was fucking like trying to like be productive, dude. And I get threatened by a fucking Uber Eats driver. Like, would you call the order? Just, ah, uh, his inability to cancel the order on his phone and he gets all pissed about it. You should be mad at yourself. For, for just being inept. Okay, honestly. You should just be mad at yourself. Uh, Are you fucking serious? I'm about, to, I'm about to smash my coffee table, dude. I'm seriously about to just punch my fucking coffee table and just smash it. Like, I'm fucking furious right now. I'm telling him right now, this isn't service. I want management on the phone now. I want management on the phone now. I want management on the phone now. Ye yell at it some more. Look at that. He yell says, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I can engage no further with respect to this issue. The they're fucking ignoring me. I'm yeah. afraid I can respect to this issue no further. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to us through the help section. They're not. Yeah, use the help section, Stoic. Figure it out. Helping, dude. They're not doing their fucking job. Their driver just fucking threatened to come to my fucking house. I would have, it would have been my legal right to bash his fucking face in for fucking self-defense. If I tell you not to come to my house and you say you're coming to my house anyway, it is my legal right to bash your fucking head in. There's no store, dude. It's Uber Eats. It's fucking Uber Eats. It's a fucking conglomerate corporation. Ah. Down with the corporations. The evil corporation is trying to assassinate him. Ah. The fucking corporation. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Down with the corporations, Stoic. That's right. That's right. Fuck. It's a fucking corporation, dude. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? How in the fucking fuck do I get a fucking agent on the fucking phone right fucking now? How uh, the just keep on screaming about it. That's how. Just get redder right in the face. That's what you fuck do. Fuck do I get a fucking agent on the fucking phone right fucking now? What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? Uh, a retarded situation that you put yourself in. It's okay, Wrinkles. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. I'm traumatizing is my Is he going to throw right the cat? That's likely to happen, isn't he? He's going to throw the cat now dude Poor i'm cat. fucking furious i am fucking furious you're seven dollar no. an hour i don't see it bro you're not foot. furious no fucking testosterone faggot driver is gonna threaten to come to my fucking house when hey. i told him not to you little that driver might be low t but he was just, he was just delivering your, your mcdonald's bro fucking piss pants eight dollar an hour 90 iq fucking nobody you're gonna drive to my fucking house when I told you not to? I will rip your fucking head off. And Mortal take a Kombat shit style. Down your fucking throat and film it and send it to your fucking parents on your fucking birthday.
How many more fuckings can you throw in there? I don't I don't believe you're mad enough. By the way, shout out to everybody watching right now. Adams, Bex, Bronx Beats, Channel, uh, Fed Up Southern Girl, Sponge, Warriors of the Shire, Zod. Thank you all. Thank you all. We're just getting started, man. We're watching more of this. This stoic guy is, uh, I mean, it, it fit, his name fits him, right? 100%. I haven't had these shots yet. We'll, we'll do that. Don't fuck with me. Agent was unprofessional. I want management on the phone now. I want management on the phone now. I want management on, on the, the fucking phone, phone now. now. How in the fuck do I hold these people accountable? How in the fuck? This guy shouldn't be a rapper. He needs to be like a death metal singer. He could probably pull that off. Do I hold these people accountable for their billion dollar business? You're running a billion dollar business and I can't get you on the phone. I can't get you on the fucking phone. I can't get you with the fucking phone. They wouldn't even know what the hell you're talking about. Even you got him on the phone. Be like, why are you so pissed? All right. You sent somebody to my house. Didn't you put the order in? Yeah, but I wanted to cancel. So I just used the app. I don't know how. <laughs> so I'm pissed off and mad about it. He tried to assassinate me. I can't get you on the fucking phone and you run a multi-billion dollar fucking business? Who the fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? Uh, an Uber Who Eats in the driver? fuck do the fucking fuck you think you are, dude? Who in the fuck do you think you are, dude? Who in the fuck do you fucking think you are? It was probably Matt Jarbo, okay? He's a former YouTuber. He's an Uber Eats guy now, okay? Sign in. Sign in. Give me a fucking phone number right fucking now. Give me a phone number Take a right chill pill, fucking man. now. Man, this guy How is so fuck angry. How in the fuck do I fucking talk to you <laughs> on the fucking phone? How do I fucking call you on the fucking phone? Are you so fucking serious? angry. I'm fucking Over furious, nothing. dude. I'm fucking furious. No. I am fucking furious. Receipt icon, bottom of the menu bar. Receipt icon on the bottom of the menu bar. This right here? Okay, this looks like a receipt. What the fuck, dude? How in the fuck do I fucking- This angle is so strange. So that's like a reflection. That's a mirror. Cancel the fucking order. Cancel the fucking order, dude. I'm calling the cops. It's such a huge house. house. What a fucking moron. I'm calling the fucking cops so to come to my house. Does he Do live with job. his parents? You're gonna call or what's my going on? Because that's, that that's a pretty it? big. What the fuck is your problem? Pretty dude? big place. I'm about to call this guy on the fucking phone. I'm about to call this fucking idiot on the phone, dude. You guys want to listen to this shit? This little fucking faggot. You think you're gonna drive this fucking bullshit to my house, dude? Are you fucking serious? Well, I mean, you could just cancel the order. You could have, but aren't you gonna eat your food? Didn't the guy drop off food? Are you fucking serious, dude? Do not bring me that fucking order. Are you fucking serious, dude? What the fuck, dude? I'm fucking pissed. What the fuck? I've never seen someone so mad about receiving food. It, normally, people are happy when they receive their Chinese or McDonald's or whatever because it's, it's, it's food time. It's time to eat. You know, people like it. Wow. This guy deserves cancer, probably, you know? He's kind of just a massive asshole. How in the fuck do I talk to somebody from Uber Eats? How in the fuck do I get somebody on the phone? Um, you really just don't. Like, it's not complicated. Dude. How in the fuck do I call fucking Uber Eats? Wrinkles, I'm gonna smack. Get off the table! Don't smack the cat, Stoic. I swear, you smack that cat. 
I mean, there's literally nothing I can do. I'm sitting right here. But if you smack that cat, may God's wrath be uh, on upon you. Go! 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 I can't get a fucking break, dude. Everything is some fuck. That cat should just... Um, <clears throat> I mean, if that cat, like, slit, <coughs> slit Stoke's throat in the middle of the night, would anybody care? No. Fucking bullshit. How do I fucking call these fucking faggots? Uh, How do I, I like fucking what he's there, call Adam. these fucking He needs idiots. to go to the cobalt mine. Yes. Yes. He can mine with his bare hands. I'm so fucking pissed, dude. This sucks so fucking bad. They're so fucking stupid. Are you fucking serious, dude? Says the guy who doesn't know how to use the app. This guy, if this guy drives to my house, I'm going to beat the fucking shit out of him, dude. I'm going to beat the fucking shit out of him. Like to see Don't you, you dare try. drive to my fucking house, you fucking moron. If you are reaching out, if you are a delivery partner, press 2. Or if you are a customer, press 3. This line is dedicated to restaurants. How the fuck do I call these people, dude? Uber Eats, customer service. What the fuck? How the fuck do I fucking call you, dude? Why don't you just write it in your diary, man? Dear diary, Uber Eats tried to deliver food to me. I'm super pissed. Are you fucking serious? I can't fucking call these people? I'm going to beat the fucking shit out of this fucking guy. If you come to my fucking house, I'm going to fuck you up, dude. That must be like the most confused Uber Eats driver. Imagine he just drops off the food and the guy's like raging, pissed off and mad about it. Like, dude, like, I don't. Uh, all right, man. Yeah, your food's dropped off. Time to go. I want to kick your ass. Um, okay. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up. Get me on the fucking phone right now. Hey, get st tell your fucking driver not to come to my house and don't fucking charge me. I'm fucking pissed. What the fuck? I'm fucking pissed. Let's let's have another shot. You're going to fucking come to my house when I tell you not to come to my let's fucking have another house? Shot. I'll beat the fucking shit out of you. I'll fucking kill you! I'll fucking murder Don't you! Don't fucking yeah. come to my house when I tell you Gotta not to come to my house! Uber Are you Eats fucking driver. serious, dude? Connect me to a fucking agent right fucking now! We all know if you yell at your phone, your it does what you want, right? Yo, I am about to beat the fuck out of this guy. If this guy comes to my house, I'm going to beat the fuck out of this guy, dude. No, dude, he asked me if I wanted to cancel, and I said yes. And he says I have to cancel it in the app. No, you work for Uber. Do your fucking job and cancel the fucking order. Watch, watch the Uber Eats driver be like some six two, like muscular dude, and be like, "I'm, I'm sorry. I kept on hearing you wanted to beat the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm right here. You get, you get the first punch. I'll let you have the first five moves, and after that, you're in the ground." You called me on my private number asking if I wanted to cancel it. Don't fucking come to my house. They just hung up on me. Listen, listen to what they just said. Listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. I want you to listen to this. All right. I want you to listen to this. Thanks for listen. contacting Uber Eats support. Please be aware that at this time, we are unable to offer phone support. Please reach out to us through the help section of the Uber app. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. And, and they hang up. They hang up. The fucking, the fucking help guy said, I can't, I can't talk about it anymore. The number hangs up. Huh. So, the, so they just rule the world? Yeah. So you just can't talk to anybody? Yeah. They so they just rule, rule the man. fucking world? It's a conspiracy. It's a very deep Uber Eats conspiracy. They rule the world. They are the lizard people. They are the they. The rule over who you think I was about to say. Yeah. Uber Eats. They are the secret cabal. So your $8 an hour faggot is going to threaten me? Whoa. And I can't do anything about it? 
as a gay man, let me say, he's saying the word faggot a little too much. Are you fucking serious right now? My voice doesn't this sound- This guy says faggot so much, I would fucking rape his face. I would fucking- I would- I would- I would beat the shit out of him and just deep throw his fucking faggot mouth. That's what I would do. And I wouldn't feel, feel bad about it. It would- it would not- I would not feel bad about it at all. I'll never have the same voice ever again. I'm so fucking furious right now, dude. I'm so fucking furious right now. I can't fucking call this fucking piece of shit. I can't fucking call these people. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious right now, dude? Are you fucking serious? Dude, you're about to have a stroke. You're gonna have a. I you're, can't you're gonna, talk to them. Your, your blood vessel is gonna to explode. Them, it's just gonna wreck. You're gonna have an aneurysm. It's a felony, and I'm suing fucking Uber Eats. I'm suing you for sending a fucking assassin to my house. <laughs> <laughs> and you think it's a joke, like... Reform Stoic is a man with a message that needs to be heard by as many people as possible. But building yeah. an audience can be quite challenging for someone. For a short time, Reform Stoic would try and gather an audience from the in-real-life streaming crowd that goes by IP2. Oh, and that crowd is insane. That is an insane crowd. Point of call was to join notorious not safe for work streamer Attila Black in a few of his streams. Never tip service workers? Unless, I mean, if you want shitty service, that's the way to get it. I mean, service workers make next to nothing. Their minimum wage is below minimum wage. I mean, if they give you good service, give a good tip. What are you, a cheap ass son of a bitch channel? What are, that's some bullshit right there. That's the worst thing I heard in this freaking chat today. That's the dumbest fucking thing. The dumbest fucking thing. Can everyone please tell channel how dumb they fucking are? I understand. If it's shitty service, don't tip. If it's good service, tip. It's very simple. Very simple. And only tip people that actually do service. Like, if they don't serve you the food, uh, like, if you order out and you go pick up your food and they give you an option to tip... Don't tip that. You tip for service. If you're not being served, you don't tip. Warriors of the Shire is also a cheapskate. Right. And it probably gets shitty service. What do you think, chat? We got done to tip. Alright. Oh, dude, I was saying I wanted the box EBZ. Let it be known, IP2, that I challenge EBZ to a boxing match. I am... 150 pounds, five foot eight, and I would like to box EBZ. I've been in this chat, I donated him, I pressed him a little bit, and he's like, oh, you're not famous, dude. EBZ is fucking terrified, guys. EBZ is absolutely fucking terrified. Let's go, baby. Let's go, EBZ. Does he actually box this guy? That'd be funny. That would be pretty, pretty funny. You want this, EBZ? You don't want this, dude. EBZ does not want this. He's coping. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Tell if it was what. MMA, he probably had a shot. But in pure boxing, I think I'd frustrate him a little bit, dude. I think, I, I think I'd be a little bit of a handful for EBZ in a boxing match. He's mad. Who's the He's other coping. guy? EVZ. Father EVZ, dude. Tell him reform stoic. Absolutely five foot eight. Absolutely 150 pounds. UFCX, boys. Channel, that's five the dumbest four. thing that's you said everybody says, all day. Dude. I'll tell you what. Like, short guys, let me tell you something, short guys. You have to get used to manly humor. You just gotta get away. While the IP2 audience may have initially taken a disliking to reform stoic, finding his philosophical ramblings distasteful, he was not deterred. He would make a brief appearance on the now notorious RV6 stream series, which would ultimately go on to end with Baked Alaska storming the Capitol buildings on the January 6th riots. Aren't they still streaming though? Isn't IP2 still a thing? Faggot. This guy's a little so bitch. So Look at this little faggot. He's not doing shit. Follow reform stoic. Talking. This guy's a he's bitch. This guy's a he's bitch. Down, little bitch boy. Do they slap him? 
They, someone should slap his ass. I mean, not his ass, but someone should slap him in the face. You know what I'm saying? You go sit down, little bitch boy. Look me in the eyes, but sit down, little bitch boy. Sit down, little bitch boy. Sit down, little bitch boy. Okay, little bitch boy. You go sit down, you little bitch zoomer, before I fuck you up. Go sit down. Go sit down. Now he's there. Get out of my face. Now, see, you guys are trying. You guys are trying to make me get kicked. You're you're literally you're you're literally threatening him, dude. Nope. He's in my face. He's in my face, causing problems. You gotta you gotta leave. You gotta leave. Get the fuck off. No one wants you. He's causing problems. Look at him causing problems. Nigga, you getting the rope? Get the fuck off. You got. He's causing problems. You just got motherfucking bags, brother. Who's not doing shit now, nigga? Fuck up. Get the fuck He's off talking right shit. Here. He's trying to get me. I'm kicked. more than talking. You're, you're talking right shit too. You Look, wait, he, he caused it. He caused it. Look at this dog. You're talking shit this whole time. Now they're just saying you're you're you're, you're out. You're out. Shit. Hey, you little skinny millennial fag. Will somebody oh, wow. will somebody okay. back me up? Look so, at this. You, got, you gotta go, dude. Everyone hates you. you. Look, what Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. I, I I'm see. Vibing. I'm an epic. So, I'm an epic. Well, you're, I'm stop threatening him. I'm not threatening him. Okay. Because you've been riding. Sit down, dude. Sit down. Sit down. I'm not threatening him. Guys, guys. Don't fight. Come on. We we don't want cops. I'm just skinny little bitch boy faggot. Hey. Shut the fuck up and get off the fucking RV right now. We're chilling. Hey, listen. Just kick him out. Just throw him out. I'm gonna see that. We're chilling. Nobody has the right to kick anybody off Thank the RV you. right now. Chilling, but I'm telling you right now, hey, stoic, so I'll, I'll don't fucking little bitch like boy. do I'll your little. Different. He's instigating. No, I know what the fuck you do, bro. And he's just fan. don't do it right he now. Once we stop the RV, you guys can throw that I, shit I off the RV, dude. Are you scared, you little bitch? Throw that shit off the RV. Look how torn up that RV is. This RV is a shit show. It's a biohazard, man. Look at it. It's a dumpster on wheels. Look at this thing. It's destroyed. Would you, would you spend a minute? Imagine how much it stinks. Imagine the smell. When I handled you, you're you're talking shit about I handled you like a child. Let's have a good dragon. time, buddy. Let's chill. Nobody wants you here, brother. You don't want me here. And also a few thousand people that are watching our stream. And your stream. To, can we try to de-escalate the situation? The can I let it be known that I'm trying to chill? Step out the door, nigga. No. Uh, that's what I thought. I'm chilling with my homies. Yeah, this guy, this is chilling. Lols, real one. Let's go. You guys are all like OG games. I mean, like, not nice. there's really not even a point to this. Nice. Go with this guy. Like, he's just doing all of it. I'm just showing okay, everybody that you can't Whatever. get a rise out of me, dude. You tried to get a rise out of me. I grabbed your skinny little bitch wrist and you didn't do shit. So shut up. Your skinny little bitch wrist? Yeah, I grabbed your little wrist and you didn't do shit. Yeah, I grabbed your little wrist and you didn't do shit. Now shut up. Now shut up. You're not. You're canceled, buddy. You're canceled. Who's the Native American homeless guy? Who's that guy? Follow Wasp Gang, follow Reform Stoic, he's canceled. I mean, you can't make this shit up. Okay, canceled. I, my shit's okay, canceled. Little canceled, okay, little canceled bruises. Okay, little canceled bruises. Okay, little canceled, buddy. Cancel. That's pretty funny. I'm chill baked, I like you, dude. Can we be friends? Do you want to come play my drums, dude? <laughs> Let's like, make an album. Is this? Base Alaska concept album. Let's go. Was right heir to the throne. Do they kick his ass? Oh, is this where he gets maced? This is where he gets maced, isn't it? Oh shit! Oh. Did he actually spray you? Oh, what the he fuck? He didn't get me in the eyes. Oh shit! He didn't get me in the eyes. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? That's such a pussy. Yo. He didn't get me in the eyes. Drive by. <laughs> That freaking zoomer just maced him. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I'll press charges later. It's all good. Where'd he get you? It's all on cam. Where'd he get you? On the forehead. It's all on nothing cam. Nothing to do with Let's it. It's all on cam, baby. Pressing charges, baby. You're pressing charges? He's talking all that shit, and he's going to press charges because he was maced in the face? Just of course. Yeah, it's it's very fitting for, for a sort of guy who talks all that shit. That's exactly what they're going to do. Baby, let's go! Throw your family out in the street. Let's go. Homeless hype. He's homeless. God, dude. <laughs> yes, just walk. I just just listen, night. listen, listen. Just walk down there. No, no, you're not being here for the night. Dude. I mean, as long as you guys are chilling, you know what I mean. He's asking you to leave, dude. No, They're kicking him off. He's he's done. Look, I got your cigarettes. Leave. There's content. People want to see. Nothing's happening, dude. Nobody's fighting. We're chilling. Okay, that's great, dude. But I want you to go outside right now. Okay? That doesn't mean you're going to get maced again or whatever the fuck. Well, like, I know I'm not going to get maced. I don't I'm want you on here maced, because man. I don't want the animosity with this guy and you to escalate. he's causing the animosity. Okay, I realize that. <laughs> I realize that it's a two-way street. You know what I mean? I realize that. But, and I'm not saying it's your fault. But he likes the other guy more. And you're off. There you go. 
I just don't want you on here with him right now. I feel you, dude. I feel you, but And he would respect me enough to be off the RV if I said that. Yeah, I just so. want to, like, I know you guys aren't really doing anything tonight. No, I know. This isn't winning, though. You realize that. I'm not trying to win. I'm I think just, you are. I'm, and I no, think Because I just, no, told, no. I just told you something. Dude. If and he, you're changing the subject. If he didn't have else. a problem, there would be no problem. Like, That's changing, the thing. I know, but you're, you're just changing the subject right now. But he just sprayed me with no, pepper no, spray. No, let's, let's stay on topic. But the topic is he sprayed me with pepper spray, okay. and I don't care. I'm chilling. So you're scared to go outside because No, I'm spray. not scared to go outside. I'm chilling. So then will you go outside? Are, are we just chilling? No. No. We're going, we're going to sleep, We're going right? to sleep and chilling. Four in the morning. Yeah. It's, but what did I do? Be here. You're talking you're shit. And now yeah. you're being but what did kicked off. He sprayed me with pepper spray and I don't care. What you you going off the RV doesn't mean you're, you did anything. Well, what we're are you, going what to bed, you guys bro. Doing you're just they need to pick her up and go to bed. physically. Yes, I'm tired. Can yeah, I just take an Uber from the spot? Can I just right, no, we're not going to drive anywhere. We're at the spot. So we're, you're at the spot. Yes, yes that's, that's right. You're sleeping here? Final yep, destination. Well, let me kick it with you for a little bit and then I'm out. We're going to bed, bro. Dude, I don't even know anybody that actually does this kind of thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look, it. We're all not trying to be against you, but at the well, same time, not, you're it's, against it's, yourself. What is it like three in the morning? No, like, you're you're against right. yourself. I, I realize if the night's over, it's <laughs> over. But I'm just making sure it's <laughs> fucking four in the morning. <laughs> I'm not even against this Bro, guy. I'm just like, coaxing you know, him into uh, cell phone. You said when you got to the spot, you're gonna. I feel go you. I, no, I'm not. I'm not. He's trying gonna go to. too. Like, how long does he? How long does he keep this up for? I mean, they're telling him to leave. He doesn't have any way to stay. He's not gonna convince them otherwise. Stoic just doesn't know when to give up, does he? I'm out of here, bro. Like, okay, then, then I'll order an Uber. All right, it's all good. I'm, there just, you go. I'm just chilling. I'll order your Uber, and then when it gets here, like, you know, we're, we're good, go. we're good, we're good. Yeah, because we're um, I'm, you, I'm over this shit, bro. Can you give me an address? No, yeah. no dude, do not this say the address. This is such a fad, dude. That's not how the... I'm not a fan. Uh, can you give me an say. address? Thank you for the art, Bronx Beats. It was very nice. Um, Very artistic of you. I like it. Well, could you could you make the art? Um, could you customize it to the way I like, though? You know. Dress. Yeah. Okay. Plain black hat wearing guy. Let yeah, me go outside. I'm okay. just getting an Uber. I'm just heading out, dude. I mean, this guy's got the plain stuff. I didn't cause any problems. Just, I just got no, assaulted with pepper fine, spray. Dude. You're fine. You just drop. I'm just big chillin'. Kick I'm stoic, chillin'. keep puma. This man stoic rules. Go. He's gonna call an Uber. He's gonna freak. He's gonna freak out the Uber driver. He is a cringe god. He <laughs> cracks me god, up. Kick not. fake money flexing normie puma Let's and go. keep stoic. Kick puma, I keep stoic. Keep. I swear, man, it was pretty weird to see baked Alaska at uh, at the Capitol or Jan Six. You know when that thing happened, I was here. I was stream sniping. Their streams. I saw what happened. I was like, man, it's just a bunch of clowns going in there just having a good time. Just 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 whatever. Because they were let in. All this stuff is like, oh, it's the biggest uh, uh um biggest terrorist thing since 9 11 or whatever. It's like, shut the hell up, dude. Boom, a kick stoic. This appearance would cause hundreds of IP2 shit posters to flood Stoic's chat and harass him to almost breaking point. But luckily, our hero Stoic wasn't baked Alaska on Nancy Pelosi's phone. Then he pick up her phone and just mess with it. See, that was that was cool. That was cool. Quick is able to channel his emotions and remained hard faced at all times. <laughs> so I'm gonna shut this fucking network down for fun. I'm gonna document it. I'm gonna brag about it. I'm gonna make many v fucking videos, and I'm gonna basically take all the clout that this network has amassed, and it's all going to go to me. Anytime people hear the IP2 network, they're gonna think about Reform Stoic. All you guys are gonna go to fucking jail and have your shit taken down, and I'm gonna get all of the fucking clout that this fucking network worked so hard to get. You guys want to make fun of me? I hope you enjoyed it. Perhaps the pressure of the constant IP2 trolls was starting to get to our hero Stoic. And at some point, Stoic began to realize some strange things were going on around him. Oh, and not just online. Don't say. He began to realize that his overwhelming genius and vast talents had made him a target for government suppression. And he began oh. to believe that the IP2 network was being used to gang stalk him.
This would all be cemented as matter of fact in Stoic's mind when one fateful day his local mailman would have a strong resemblance to cybersecurity company Intrepid employee Lance Cottrell. Using state-of-the-art facial comparison software, Reform Stoic confirmed without a doubt that this mailman was categorically Lance Cottrell. And this would send Stoic down a rabbit hole of justified paranoia. Oh, shit. <laughs> Practically the same guy. It's the same guy. <laughs> it wouldn't be long until Reform Stoic began to notice other strange activity inside his gated community, such as homeless men holding possible guns in their pockets, IP2 A logs riding past his house on bicycles, and intrepid employees surveilling his house in innocuous gold vehicles. Ah. What's up, buddy? Gotcha. Cold Range Rover. Okay. What's up, buddy? What's up? How's it going? What you do to my neighborhood? Huh? What you do to my neighborhood? Stoic is ask, asking to get shot. What, what is he doing? You live here? I don't think you do, man. You want to you? You work for Intrepid. Well, I, I live right here. I, I pulled your license plates, man. No, listen. Listen. Uh -oh. He's asking to be gunned down. What is he doing? I'm you, Over there? No. Well, how come I pulled your license plate? Well, you I don't need that. Let me tell you I pulled Frank your license plate, man. Uh, he didn't pull his license plate. <laughs> I, Stoke is such an idiot. I pulled the license plate in my vehicle, man. I pulled the license plate. Have a good one, bro. I pulled your license plate. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you right now that what you're doing is crazy. It's not illegal, man. This is my neighborhood. He said what you're doing is crazy. You're insane. Neighborhood, and I saw you watching my house in this vehicle. I do need a chug. I saw you watching my house. Intrepid, bro. You're busted. Let's get some beers. Case in the neighborhood while I'm going for a ride. Let's get some beers right now. Let's get some beers. Son, you're busted. No, you're not. You're Casein. What's your name? Tell me your name, then. Last thing. Tell me your name, then. You ain't gonna tell me your name. Okay, well, I'm gonna go tell Frank right now. You ain't telling me your name. All right, you tell Frank, man, and I'll tell you that I pulled your license plate. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you. You go tell Frank. What's your name, then? Why don't you tell me your name? You ain't telling me your name. You ain't telling me your name, bro. You ain't telling me your name, dog. Hey, this guy doesn't live here, man. This guy don't live here. This guy don't live here, man. All right, we go see. I'm going to my house, bro. You do what you want to do. I pulled your license plate, bro. I pulled your license it's plate. It's amazing bro. how he could be so confident. That that's of course that's psychosis all these for shenanigans you. would lead Reform Stoic to the Paranoia. obvious and true conclusions that his life was yet again endangered, and people were definitely trying <sighs> to silence his powerful message. Bro, I think people are coming with guns to kill me, dog. I think people are coming with guns to kill me, man. So baseball bats, I'm being careful. I'm being careful, dude. But yeah, that was like a really out of place looking guy in my neighborhood on foot. He was on foot. He was nonchalantly walking towards me while I was on the phone with the police. This is all about to fucking fall all over him, dude. This is all about to fucking blow up in their faces. Well, am I not allowed to be chill about it? Do I have to fucking like freak out? Do I have to be scared? I'm winning. I'm fucking winning, dude. I'm about to show the police all the fucking evidence. I'm about to show the police all of the evidence, dude. I won. I'm at the what finish the fuck line. Is this? You guys failed. Intrepid's about. What the fuck is this? 
that a bee? That looks like a bee. The fuck is that? A bug. See it? I think it's dying. It's on the snot rag. The fucking bee. Oh, whatever. It's dead. Time to get drunk for my sins. About to get shut down. Intrepid's about to get shut down, dude. I think you guys better shut it down, bro. This guy's a fucking stalker, bro. And he's associated with the network of harassment agents. Bronx, you're trying to attack me I've with bees? I've been harassed by an entire fucking- You're trying to attack me with bees, bro? What'd I do to you, man? Did I reject your art? I'm not gonna eat the bee sponge. That's crazy. I'm not insane over here. In team of harassment agents. I've been harassed by an entire team of coordinated harassment agents. I'll eat bull balls. That's exactly what bee. happened. And everybody knows that's what happened. And y'all want me to shut up about it. No, dude. I got attacked by a bunch of coordinated harassment agents. I think we all know exactly what's going on, man. This is a coordinated nah, harassment that, campaign. That thing's still alive. I don't want to eat These are harassment thing. agents who are getting paid to harass me. Because, dude, I busted Intrepid. I busted Intrepid on my fucking property. So you know it's connected to Intrepid. You know it's connected to the You're fucking CIA, it? dude. I'm getting harassed by a number of affiliated harassment agents. That's what's been going on. That's what's been going on, bro. And a big part of what my channel is at this point is uncovering that. Oh, Stoke is on a mission. I like this. I like someone who's dedicated to the cause of revealing the grand conspiracy of Intrepid. It's showing you that I've been targeted by our government. You have been, man. I've been targeted by our government. By government-funded agencies. But what's the reason why? Why would the government want to target Stoic? What does he know that... What does he know that deserves to be silenced forever? I'm seriously getting targeted by government-funded agencies. And y'all want to try to laugh it off, but most of them are intrepid anonymizer accounts. Most of IP2 is just bots. After exposing this government interference in Stoic's life, he would go on to offer Entrepid a price to end his smear campaign that was shaking this harassment campaign to its very core. And uh. all for the low, low price of just a measly $600,000. An uh. absolute bargain. Everybody knows that everything I'm saying is true. Seeing as how Intrepid tried to kill me, that proves that I'm a real fucking asset for the truth. What is the Intrepid's truth? Intrepid's going to be shut down this time next year. You guys need to pay me what you owe me, dude. You guys need to pay me what you owe me. You guys got a 2.78. Yeah, uh, asylums need to come back. Contract. And this pay guy me. needs to go to one. Lance okay. Cottrell was watching my driveway. That black car with the tinted windows, you can see that there was a USPS. They're trying to kidnap me, dude. They're trying to kidnap me, bro, and seeing as how Intrepid refuses to make a statement, you notice how Intrepid hasn't said anything? That proves they're guilty, dude. <laughs> Intrepid has made no statements. They haven't denounced it. Lance Cottrell hasn't denounced it. That proves they're guilty. That proves they're fucking terrified. They, I don't so basically you can just Do they even know I'm who you are? Because they aren't saying anything, so... Yeah, they're trying to kill me in my fucking gated community, bro. And IP2 is doing everything they could to cover it up. People know that Intrepid is exposed, bro, and I'm not even gonna fucking ent entertain the Intrepid alts that are here. Apologizing for them 24-7. Perennialstoic at gmail.com. Give me my fucking money or you guys will never work again. I guarantee it. You'll never work again, and that's not extortion. You guys tried to kill me. You guys tried to kill me, dude. So I will continue doing what I'm allowed to do 
which is exposing that you guys tried to kill me in my home. If you want me to stop, you can pay me. That's not. This is actually like if the guy wasn't insane and it was just coming up with this, the stream with it. I mean, imagine if Stoic was faking to be insane for art, the uh, for artistic reasons. I mean, it's kind of the shit I would do sometimes. Uh, it's fake. Uh, like I'm going to stab myself and stuff. We didn't get to drinking. I said I was going to drink to repent for my sins. I don't even know what my sins are. I'm going to do this. I'm going to hop in my Discord. I'll put my Discord link. And while this is playing, you will tell me why I need to repent. And but you you get you get like a line or two and I just have to listen to it. And then and then we move on. So I have to sit and listen to it. Is that what we're gonna do? That's what we're gonna do. <coughs> I think I'm dying here. I think I'm actually dying. What if it turns out that I am dying? If I like have cancer or some shit, that'd be crazy, huh? I'm gonna test the uh, the audio real fast. Let's see, sound check, sound, sound, sound. check, check. All right, that's good. All right, I'm gonna just stay in uh, general, and I'm going to um, drop the link. The way it's not gonna be a free for all. It's not gonna be like that. It needs to be structured. Because I don't want just chaos, just noise. Okay. And this is building up to drinking for my sins. We're not like chilling in the VC or just staying. Uh, you, you tell me what my sins are and I'll eat it up and uh, I'll consider. Okay. There you go. Not extortion. I will stop exposing the reality that you guys tried to kill me in my home if you give me six hundred thousand dollars. That's not extortion. <laughs> it's not extortion, it it's not extortion, but it's extortion. It's a settlement. Oh. If you guys want to settle for six. Yes, Adam. If you didn't say anything, you are complete. Adam, you didn't say anything about it. You're complicit. Adam0960 is part of Intrepid and is trying to kill Stoic. I also didn't say anything about it. Because I also tried to kill Stoic. I tried to murder him in his sleep. 100 grand? Because I know you guys got... I know you guys are all spoiled rich poopy pantses, dude. I know you spoiled guys are a bunch of fucking pants. spoiled rich kids who never worked a real day of labor in your entire life. You're all fucking mommy and daddy silver spoons. Give me some fucking money. And I'll go away. It's not extortion. Give me some fucking money because I'm smarter than you and I caught you guys being retarded boomers. That's the only way you get out of this. Not extortion. It's not extortion, dude. That's why I tried to murder him. He caught me being a retarded boomer. I was like, <laughs> What the fuck was I doing? He caught me being a retarded boomer. I had to murder him. I tried to. Obviously, I did not succeed. He's a very good fighter. Even in his sleep. Don't underestimate Stoic. Y'all never been around a real man. If you want this real man to go away, you give me $600,000 now. You give me $600,000 now and all the videos become private. Not extortion, you guys. It's not extortion. I don't know why you guys are asking Alexandra Mayers, you know, if I have a question about contracting AIDS or being a fucking $10 an hour porn star, like, I guess you could ask Alexandra Mayers then, but she doesn't know a fucking thing about the law. She doesn't know a fucking thing other than taking dicks and getting AIDS, bro. So, fuck everything she said. This is Who's an Alexandra extortion. This Mayers? is a deal. I'm willing to make it. Should deal I know who that is? You uh, all I know is that maybe she was a porn star and she's taking dicks and got AIDS. Does she have AIDS? That's sad. Well, maybe not. 
you give me six hundred thousand dollars and I private all the videos. That's a deal. Channel says, did you ever kill your dog like you said you was going to do, or did you chicken out like always? Uh, channel, I guess you didn't catch the memo. My dog is healthy now, so I don't have to murder my dog. Channel, you are a bloodthirsty. You are a bloodthirsty, despicable piece of shit. You don't tip, and you want my dog to die, even though it has a a moment of health. You're a vile piece of garbage. Channel, change my mind. The Discord link is right there. Channel, change my mind. No, I didn't murder my dog. Because my dog is actually able to move around now because of all we had to do is give him medication. Now, she is out of her medication. The last pill was today. Oh, that means I need to pay for more or decide if, if it's time. Oh, oh, that's your take. So I chickened out. That's your take. Okay. Well, you are a dumb bitch. Deal. That's a business fucking deal. Bro, at the end of the day, Intrepid, like, I fucking completely exposed your entire operation. You need to get over the idea that you're smarter than me. You're not. Take a little seat in your little baby poopy pants high chair and think about giving me $600,000 unironically. Unironically, seriously. Unironically. Like, seriously, sit down and think. We seriously might want to give this kid six hundred thousand dollars. Think about it, cause it's not extortion, dummy. <laughs> like a fucking personal gig, dude. It's like you want me to mow your lawn. Okay, if you want me to mow your lawn, it's seventy-five dollars. If you want me to water your plat plants and feed your cats when you're gone, you know maybe it's like one hundred fifty bucks. If you want me to private the videos, it's six hundred thousand dollars. We're getting drunk, guys. We're getting drunk. Not extortion. We're getting drunk. You guys tried to kill me For in my, my fucking sins. community. I have to bro. repent. Um, maybe you should just shut your company down. I don't know. Here's your options. You can shut your company down. You can give me $600,000. Or you can just ignore me. Nothing about this is extortion, dude. You guys are a bunch of snooty fucking billionaires. Like, oh, you got you guys going to pretend you need money from me? Get the fuck out of here, you spoiled rich pussy pantses. You guys harassed me because you thought you could get away with it. I fucking exposed you. You're a government organization. I'm about to call the fucking president. Been exposed by the stoic. Reform stoic. Bitch. I'm going to make as much noise about... Uh, did he mention Adams yet? He has not. He hasn't mentioned my name either. ...about this as I can. Now, stoic's humble price of... Hey, here's the thing. Channel. Channel is another one that tried to murder Stoic. I know that because Channel and I were on the mission to try to kill Stoic. Obviously, we tried. It didn't work. Stoic is very strong, okay? I wouldn't say strong, sorry. It, more um, resourceful. He's very resourceful, okay? It is what it is. $600,000 was enough for Lance Cottrell to finally address the harassment he had been coordinating against our modern-day philosophical musical genius. What you are about to see is the blueprint for gaslighting and manipulation. I am so tempted to crack into the, uh, the, the uh, crazy, uh, totally not weed edibles. That really fucked me up the other weekend. It like, I took too much and it fucked me up for two days straight. I don't think we're ready for that. First off, we haven't even achieved the drink, the, the drunk uh, part of this yet. Okay? Hi, friends. I want to apologize in advance for some inconvenience that may befall you. Uh, my virtual stalker is at it again, and he is basically threatening to share these photos purporting to be of me dressed as a mailman stalking him in his neighborhood ah, with everyone what? I know in some kind of effort to get back at me for doing that. 
clearly pretty insane. Uh, hopefully he won't do this, but if he does, be aware of him. He's using a lot of different aliases, but typically goes by Reformed Stoic. So Holy shit. What? Reformed Stoic got this man to do a reply? Oh, man. Hopefully it won't cause you any trouble, but wanted to let you know that this guy's out there and doing this. So if you see something from him, just ignore it. Thanks. Now, how did a true king like Stoic respond to such a pathetic attempt at gaslighting? Well, with a fire freestyle diss rap, of course. If he does, be aware of him. He's using a lot of different aliases, but this typically. This fucking ball freestyle. Typically goes by Reformed Stoic. Get your balls so out, hopefully guys. It won't cause you any trouble, but wanted to. Ladies, just, just get your lips out. That's okay. Let you know I guess that this that's what we do here. Is that what the fucking ball freestyle? Is that what that means? What does that mean? I'm sorry if it was crude. I'm just asking what it means. Out there and doing this. So if you see something from him, just ignore it. Thanks. Man, I thought you wasn't going to say nothing. I thought you was ignoring me. Look how shook you beat. Look how much over it is. Motherfucker, you don't know how October it is. It's getting spooky Halloween. Perfect. All these spooks gonna get weaned off the nipple. Gonna get the hammer and sickle. Communism, you gonna get stripped of your wealth. You gonna be burning in hell. You ain't gonna be doing this with nobody else. No more gang stalking. Everybody knows I'm like Taylor Hawk. Perfect. Drumming for the food fighters. I ain't even need a lighter or apple cider. I just want to expose your whole clique. Intrepid cybernetics type shit. I'm getting famous. I'm gonna be written down in the history pages. You know I'm gonna be making them wages. Motherfuckers know that you can't be with the dragons. Used to be in Dragon Rouge cultist. Now I wanna read the Bible the hardest like Paul. Apostle. But I ain't on that level. But I'm gonna get it like Biggie Smalls. Lance, you fucked up. Get your battle stance cause you know I'm rising up. Gonna meet with the FBI real soon. I don't even give a fuck about what you say, dude. No, it ain't black male said it clearly. Motherfuckers gon' feel me. You gonna fear me too. Man, I feel a little bit magic right now, boo. But I gotta get back to the Bible. I just wanna stay being a disciple. I just wanna stay true, but it feels so good to get that fucking vengeance, dude. Intrepid, is I what you expected? When you drove around my neighborhood, you didn't think I could get this good. Motherfuckers, if you could go back in time, I think you would. Undo it all. You know I'm gonna prevail. Let's get it, let's fucking ball. Last verse. Everybody knows it's not rehearsed, cause Lance is going down and I run this fucking town and I never fuck around and I used to be rally. Nobody can make it in this game without me. I'm rising up. Motherfuckers know that you crying, bruh. Richard Hall is Helms. 30 years in the CIA of practice all day. That got shut down, boo. And now Intrepid's going to get shut down too. And why does Lance always follow you? With the anonymizer contracted with the motherfucking government. Yeah, you know he's loving it. After 9 11 and shit, I think you might have been involved. A next problem to solve. Blues, clues, fourth fucking all, and now I got a ball. Reform Stoic out. I didn't do it for the cloud, I did it to knock you out. Yeah, didn't you pay for this beat though? Because I'm broke. Hey, y'all know my PayPal though. You know what to do. Let's get it. <laughs> After hearing this guy get donations in his PayPal. Okay, okay, that was that was horrible. That was horrible. That was horrible. That was horrible. Uh Bex says grossly is cringe as fuck. Uh, grossly is really, really good at knowing about characters like Reform Stoic. I do appreciate that. And I think she was at the receiving end of, uh, some, some hazing, some, some fuckery. I'm the nice one. I'm, I'm the nice one that, uh. You know, has the conscience, I suppose. So, 
you know, I was like, you know, I think, I think they, they were just kind of messing with you, you know. You know, it is that. I, I understand where she's coming from. I get that. But I really appreciate uh, Grossly's ability to document this. It, it takes a lot of time and commitment to put something like this together in a concise way that tells a story. We're almost done with the story. We're almost done with it. But we are learning so much about this reformed Stoic guy. It's great because I knew nothing really about him, but actually I did. I just got so drunk in the past that I forgot about this guy and now I'm remembering, I do know about him. You know what? I still don't really remember my Vegas trip either. I was so fucking drunk. You know what I did? I didn't spend $10 per beer like they want you to do. No, I went out next door, went to CVS, got cases of beer, and I was on the casino floor drinking out of a case of fucking beer. Now, you be they give you drinks on the casino floor. They do, but not at the rate that I like. So they were giving me uh, Jack and Coke every now and then. But I was drinking Pat's Blue Ribbon out of the box, like, constantly. Oh, he threatens to rape every woman. But he's actually a, he's actually, he's actually a very nice married man. He's, he, he's just messing around. Okay, he's. He he's a he's a great father, he's he's a good man to his wife. Okay, um, it is it is the internet is like just a place to shit on everything. I get I get his mentality. Some ways I feel like it, but I just I I, I don't fall into it completely. Anyway, we'll play this. This absolute lyrical destruction. The only suitable answer for Lance Cottrell and the intrepid government harassment agency was to cower away and slink off into the darkness to apply burn cream to the emotional wounds inflicted by reformed stoics red hot. Oh, like Grossly is never going to apologize. Well, actually, there is a chance Grossly could apologize, but it's not going to sound sincere. It'll just be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like that. Lyricism. I'd love to say that this is the end of the gang stalking saga. Unfortunately, due to his at the time criticism of Catholic Jesuits, he became a target from the Bronx. You try to rape your mommy? Bronx beats try to rape his mommy. That's gross, Bronx beats. That's gross. Knights of Columbus. And would come from milk from her tits and try to rape her towards him on a phone call concerning his neighbor. Scott. Hi, is this the Knights of Columbus? Knights of Columbus. Well, it's Scott who's with the Knights of Columbus. Who's this? This is the Reform Stoic. Hey, who the fuck are you? This is who? The Reform Stoic. Oh, you know who I am. Uh, I don't think I do. You know who I am. Okay. Uh, okay, but you gotta say your name a little slower. I'm in a noisy environment. Reformed Stoic. Uh, that's not helping me, brother. Sorry. Not ringing any bells, huh? How about Jamie Flores? Does that ring any bells? Is he a Knight of Columbus? Yeah, so... Oh, he is! Um, ja Jamie Flores is a Knight of Columbus. Wow, that's fascinating, man, because he lives right next to my property, and uh, I've been getting harassed pretty heavily. And I something told me that it was the Knights of Columbus behind it. Something told me that the Knights of Columbus are involved. Yeah, I think you guys like harassing people, man. But anyway, say hi to my stream. Oh my god, he's onto the Knights of Columbus. This cannot stand! I did not realize this! He's onto the Knights of Columbus! That conspiracy must be kept secret. God damn it. Reform Stoic knows about you guys. I don't know who... Uh, okay, well, you know Jamie Flores. So, Jamie Flores is a Knight of Columbus. Thank you for confirming that live on my stream. You heard it, guys. 
Jamie Flores is a Knight of Columbus. Jamie Flores is a Knight of Columbus. There you go. There you go, dude. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Let me, let me. Even the police were involved in the grand conspiracy to silence. Dead man's wife has sour milk. She does? Probably, I guess. Because she hasn't lactated for like, uh, how old is my youngest? Six years. I would imagine it's kind of powdery, dude. There's no milk coming from those udders. Bronx Beats talking about my wife's tits and her milk. Bronx, you play your cards right here tonight. You can get my milk. You have a chance. And we're not related. Sick, bro. It's not sick. It's protein. You're going to love it. It's great. Drink it up. Lance, our hero, reform stoic. At his wit's end, he was ready to take the law into his own hands regardless of the consequences. Metro Police, Carol, 17899. Yeah, I'm just calling to complain about some dirty cops. Hi, can you hear me? Yep, I hear you. I'm calling to complain about some dirty cops. Okay, this, okay. Is, this is good. What's going on? Okay. Oh, this part was silent. I have been calling you guys the last three days, and you have done everything in your power to avoid having officers talk to me. The situation that just played out over here is I had been waiting hours for cops to arrive. I get a call from some bitch on a number that I don't recognize ordering me around saying I have to go out into my driveway. That's against the law. I've had cops come here. That's not against the law. It is against the law, ma'am. You're not, you don't have a fucking law degree. You're a phone woman. Now you listen to me. You're it's a against phone the law. woman. I've had cops no, come here, place. woman. Hey, woman, I've had no, cops come here to my front door, woman. I bet you're getting pretty mad, woman. You don't have any fucking power. Oh, this, this, how is this guy still alive? How is he not dead, even by a cop? He's asking to be... They're going to send an officer to murder him just for the way he's talking to the dispatch lady. Jesus Christ. Power at all. You are a fucking phone woman, and you need to... Yeah, I'll bet you're triggered, huh, you stupid fucking cunt? Fucking stupid! Ca uh, can't listen to me. Uh, how much dick did you? How much dick did you take in college? You stupid fucking whore. What's your body count? Uh, he's doing the body count question. What's your body count, ma'am? I need to know. If it, uh, if your body count's higher than than two, I'm not. I'm not gonna answer. Phone woman. I bet you took so much cock in college, you fucking worthless whore. Fucking right, stupid bitch. Oh my gosh, you're disconnecting. You fucking suck at your job, bitch. No, she don't suck at her job. Well, I mean, she may. It depends on who you ask. I mean, but everyone likes that, though. That's, that's, that's team morale building there. Fucking stupid fucking whore. Wait, is this, is this the Tennessee? Is this the Tennessee cop? I mean, does he live in Tennessee? I... I'm about to go smash that fucking vehicle, dude. I'm about to smash that fucking vehicle. Smash, bro. You guys want me to do it? You want me to be the law? You want me to do it? I'll fucking do it! I'll fucking film it! I'll fucking film it! I am super jolly of his power level. His power level is immense. It And when Uber it scares Eats, me. IP2, Entrepid, the Knights of Columbus, and the local police were all involved in the harassment, the only place left to turn would be none other than the FBI. I gotta be on my shit. I gotta watch everything I say. I gotta walk on eggshells. I'm getting walked down this line where it's like, well, you know, you're kind of asking for it. That's what the FBI told me, dude, long time ago. Well, you know, you should probably stop streaming because you're encouraging it. Trying to say that, what's the title of your book? Trying to say that my book is why people knew. No, I never told people about my book, dude. I said that I wrote a book. Yeah, you, you see, they're, they're trying to victim blame me. Basically, the FBI just victim blamed me. And they had no explanation for it. 
You don't get explanations at the highest levels. You don't get explanations. Psychology is a dictatorship. Psychology what? is a dictatorship. What? Freud didn't have depression. Freud didn't have to be institutionalized. Carl Jung didn't have depression. No, he just had the red book. No, 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 man. What? I like this. So psychology is a dictatorship. Well, a Freud was about the penis envy. There, there was a lot of cocks in the mind of that. Look, when he was channeling demons so he could write all this Gnostic horse shit. No, there's nothing wrong with Freud. No, there's nothing wrong with Carl Jung. I got a, I got a bachelor's in psych. I guess I'm part of it. I guess I'm part of the, of the psych conspiracy. Um, they're the ones cracking the whips. They're the ones observing during the fucking Milgram's experiment where everybody's getting... Oh, please stop shocking me. Please stop shocking me where everybody's getting fucking tortured. He's the one yeah, watching. that was a pretty cool experiment. They need to bring that back. They gotta give the people an idea of how easily they could be <clears throat> uh, authoritative assholes. Well, oh, over the panoptic... All this talk of harassment campaigns and gang stalking but I'm sure some of you are completely unaware of what this really entails. So I thought I'd let Reform Stoic explain just what this is all about and how this affects people who suffer from it. Gang stalking is when you are stalked by multiple people. Makes sense. It's a coordinated effort that usually involves people who have money and connections and power and pull. Okay. People who are employed by various agencies, so police can be involved, hospitals can be involved, taxi drivers can be involved, anybody at right. any job can be involved. Usually agencies are involved, like Intrepid. Okay. So, and yeah, it's you're a being coordinated because you harassment be effort though. Like, where you know people information. follow you. I'm being followed, dude. I mean, yeah, if you don't you, read all well, the comments yeah, you need from to be silent, NJF88 and Pimpin' Pat, they're admitting to it. Well, they're we admitting to it all point. over shit. We're all trying all to gotta silence go do you. Is We're all trying to murder you, dude. We need to shut you up. We NJF88 admitted that he's Ryan Sankier and says he's here to kill me. Stop talking. He said he's going to shoot me from 250 meters away or 250 yards away. Like, I can't even believe the mods allow that shit, dude. I can't even believe they allow Your mods that shit, have turned against Yeah, they're admitting too. that they're here. They're saying they're going to kill me. I don't think they're going to kill me, but they're definitely Your here. Your mods are going to kill you. You know, you know what gang stalking is really like? The Truman Show. Truman Show. Have you seen Truman Show? Truman Show is gang stalking. No, Truman Show was created to give you the idea of what gang stalking is, but that's just surface level. The reality is, you're in hell, Stoic. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning. You will be silenced. We're just kind of toying with you, messing with you. The night that Channel and I were standing over you, you were asleep, we were about to, to put the pillow to your face and murder you. I said, you know, actually the guy has some, some legit raps. And I don't want to do it yet because uh, I kind of like his, his, his raps. I want to listen to it. I want more content. Channel was like, no, we got to do it. I told Channel no. I, I told her that she's a stupid bitch. And uh, she got mad and she left. And that's the story of why Stoic wasn't murdered by Channel and I. We were right there. We we're about to do it. It just didn't happen. You got lucky. When they got, when they all got the microphone, they all got the earpieces. They're all communicating. They're all listening to radio. They're trying to keep him from getting places. They're manipulating. What is intrepid? Oh, you know what intrepid is. Oh, Adam in the chat is asking what intrepid is. That just proves he's an intrepid agent. Intrepid agent. You no, know, you know what? He's probably the head honcho of intrepid. He's. He's like the CEO of Intrepid. He is the Intrepid. He's the final boss. Adams is the final boss. We have the final boss of Intrepid in the fucking chat. Let's fucking go. Let's get 
Reform Stoic in this goddamn chat. Let him know to Adams. Zero nine six motherfucking zero is the final boss. He's right here. He's right here. And in a dead man chat. In a stream that probably has five people. Because he hasn't streamed on this channel for fucking for a fucking while. Let's do it, guys. Manipulating his life. That's like gang stalking. For sure. Truman Show. I put his name in the chat. Right, his title. This is a dream. You're dreaming. I'm in a dream. dream. Holy fuck, this is so stupid. <laughs> the obvious reason for Reform Stoic's repeated targeted harassment campaigns from all these different entities and organizations could easily be chalked up to his intellectual prowess, godlike musical abilities, and his outspoken nature. But what happens if there's a more subtle reason for all this? What happens if there's a much darker secret Stoic has been hiding from us? That's the real reason that this all started. I cranked it to Ronald McDonald in a dress, dude. I'm not proud of it. I'm not sure what was I was what I was thinking. Now Stoic's gang stalking is long past him and years ago. After his winning victory smearing of his harassers, they would all proceed to back off. And if we check in on him now, on a recent stream, I'm sure he's completely over it and moved on with his life entirely. As he... I'll show up at his lodge! <laughs> And then every time I go after these fucking hacks, they send the flying monkeys, and now... I mean, bro, there was a lot of information last night, okay? People, like, look, maybe that intrepid sticker doesn't mean anything, but... There was people talking about how Blade is a gang stalker, like Blade left a fucking air tag on the RV, bro. I'm telling you, man, when Pimpin' Pat made that DJ video, I think all of the people in that video were people who were involved and in getting me put on the fucking shit list. It was Attila, Baked Alaska, Blade, Geezer. They're all in DX, bro. People confirmed it last night that Blade has DX mods. Blade's in DX, okay? DX is connected to Intrepid somehow. DX is connected to Intrepid and other fucking intel agencies. Baked Alaska is connected to all sorts of fucked up crisis actor intel agencies. The whole entire network is some sort of a stupid fucking honeypot. I exposed it years ago. People just keep gaslighting me. <laughs> oh, he thinks he exposed it. <laughs> I did. It's a fucking honeypot. Blades and DX, dude. These people were pissed off at me. And they put me on this gang stalking list. You're on a list. Was it Paps number three? And it's like, I don't know how the fuck they got that intrepid sticker, dude. I, I think it's just hidden in plain sight. I think it's hidden in plain sight. They just love it. That fucking cabbage patch faggot guy was like, oh, Whoa. I'm on my... I, I'm literally getting paid to be here and talk shit. Like, they can't help it. They love to say it. They love to say the truth. And then when you call them out on it, they gaslight like person, you. yeah. He's a fed, dude. Aside from his drumming prowess, godlike lyrical ability, and titanic intellect, Reform Stoic is also somewhat of a revolutionary visionary and has regularly organized nationwide protests, such as Does the he? short man sit out. You know, this is very detailed. When I used to work at a at a psychiatric facility, when I used to work at a psychiatric facility, and um, there was plenty of clients that would have been like great content to like, you know, harvest from. But of course, it's confidential and it's all like, you know, it's it's, it's kind of sick, you know. But when they put it out there on the internet, when they stream and you see their life kind of like, like develop the way it is. It's kind of free for the taking. 
It's it, it's you know it's free to. I'm I'm kind of curious. I wonder if the clients if I, who I could I couldn't cross that could I? Even if hypothetically if I were to stumble upon like one of my one of the former clients like doing a YouTube stream, I couldn't cross that line because of uh, HIPAA laws. I could never cross that line. This guy was never one of those clients. I'll tell you that. But he probably should have been. It's pretty fucking funny when a man is short. You know what I think would be pretty funny? Hashtag short man sit out. We don't show up to work. January 1st, 2022. Spread the word. Spread the hashtag. We got lots of time. Oh, women uh, yeah, you sure people could not work. That's fine. Just don't show up at all. You know what? I'll do your fucking job, too. Uh, hey, if I get paid what you are getting paid on top of what I'm already getting paid, don't even show up to work because that's what, what that's exactly what I would do. I'll tell the boss, I'll tell you what, I'll take up their slack. But that's that's an employee. You don't you're not paying anymore. Uh, it'd be kind of nice if we got like half a little part of their salary on top of mine. Hey, if I can do their job, too, why not? You want me to do it, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you do. All right. Uh, yeah, don't show up to work, shorties. Don't show up to work. If you're short, don't show up. Men didn't show up to work for one day, man. If short men didn't show up to work for one day, the whole fucking system would come crashing down. Hashtag short man sit out January 1st, 2022. Boys, let's fucking get it. When the manlets unite. God bless. Oh, you got to build something positive. You got to work really hard. You got to make it happen. Fuck that, man. You get out what you put in. And what did society put into us? Nothing. Nothing. Big dick. Nothing but negativity and blame and ridicule. Man, I got all kinds of God-given gifts and talents. I know it. Other people don't want to recognize it. But you know what, man? Fuck this society. Y'all don't deserve people like me. Y'all don't deserve all kinds of things. Leave this society to rot. Leave these women to rot. Leave this sinking fucking ship to burn and to rot, man. Would you want to be with you? Would you want to be your friend? Fuck yeah, I'd want to be with me. I am with me. Fuck yeah, I'd want to be my friend. One of the many philosophical topics Reform Stoic has pondered upon has been women. The oppression he's oh, felt from women be good. has been the subject- This has to be good. Reform Stoic on women. What does he say about the finer sex? of many of Stoic's videos over the years, and I think he has a perfect, sane, rational, and reasonable Oh, I bet he's a ladies' man, 100%. He is a ladies' on man. On the disgusting femoid menace, the plague of society. Ready, ladies. Well, why- you, 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 it's, it's Do what coming. women like, bro. Women, they don't want to be treated well. She's telling me, it's like, well, clearly you're being nice to me. Uh, no, sweetie, that's an assumption. You don't know why I'm fucking being nice to you. I thought you are a musician. Asking you about music, and you're being a fucking cuntbag about it. Try to ask you what music you're into. I recommend Further Seems Forever, and you're a fucking cunt bag about it. So this is what you get. This is what you get, sweetie. You want to fucking try to make me feel bad for asking you what music you like? I thought you were a fucking musician. This is what you like. This is what you love. This is what you get. You don't get fucking shit from me. The women like to be treated like crap, is what he say. Chat, do you agree? Press 1 in the chat if you think women want to be treated like a doormat. Press 2. If that's not the case, they want like a, like a gentleman. You don't get shit from me, baby. You want to treat me like that? I fucking treat you like you treated your firstborn child. You want to treat me like that? I'm going to treat you like you treated your firstborn child. You threw it in the fucking dumpster after it was dead. What? I ain't going to kill you though. Fearless fucking yoga pants thoughts. You just fill up universe. What is he talking about when he says that? Universities and... Have that stupid fucking know-it-all look on their face, and I kind of just want to hit him, bros. Kind of just want to like, hey, what's up, sweetie? Bam! Oh, you think Dude, I'm he's a he's a woman hitter. He likes to hit hit on women, like in a physical sense. That no bueno, man. No good. No good. Uh, that that's a hard no right there, Stoic. Short. Bam! 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 They don't hit women. No, if they hit you, woman hits me. 
I'm ca- I'm catching their next. The, I'm catching the next blow, and I'm just I'm just restraining them. At that point, it's stupid. It's like stop it. You know what I'm saying? You catch, you twist, you put a arm behind their back, you put them against the wall, and be like, "Are we done now? Can we stop this?" Thank you. Hey, listen, sweetie, you think I'm fucking short, huh? Well, then what are you gonna do? I got my hands around your neck, sweetie pants. What are you gonna do? Am I short now, sweetie? Bam! 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 bam. <laughs> well, I'm a fucking ninja, and I'm a so. I'm guessing he is definitely celibate. I'm guessing he's definitely. Uh, on a dry spell. Badass, and I'm fucking smart. And you know what I think frustrated, Ted? I think if a woman disrespected me, I would fucking push you, and I'd be ready to deal with if it. If you really want to know the secret what the ladies like, it's kind of a mix, okay? They do want to be respected, but at the same time, you do have to give them a little bit of disrespect. Just, just a bit. Just a bit. Because, and the reason why you do that is because they may be more intrigued by that at first because they're kind of surprised that you're doing it and they want you to kind of like explain yourself and but but you, you be a gentleman of the kind it's a balancing game man anyway I would fucking push you and I'd be ready to fight people and I'd be ready to talk to the cops so yeah if you're the kind of man who wants to stand up for yourself, you better be smart. You better be where I'm at. I'm the kind of man where if you disrespect me, I will make you fucking pay. And I am confident that I can deal with the consequences. That's the kind of man you gotta be, dude. I would fucking grab a woman by the throat and say, Hey, sweetie, I'd hate to have to fucking hold you down and beat your fucking pretty little teeth in down your throat. You better watch your fucking mouth. Boom! <laughs> I'm capable of that. And a man like this would attack a woman because that's who he could attack and feel free... That he's not going to be um, be attacked back. That's what it is. He sees him as inferior and weak, and he's just going to just uh, do that. And that's that's just no bueno. Like I said, no good. Okay. And if you want to clip it and be like, I'm far from the, um, you know, I'm not a cheerleader for like feminism or anything. Far from that. I'm more like you could say like a chauvinist at some sometimes, but you know. Uh, I I know where to draw the line, you know, and and this guy's just a piece of shit. This 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 reformed stoic guys. There's nothing reformed about him. Oh! But the good news is his lineage will be nothing. He's gonna have no kids. He's gonna have uh, no f- no future. There's no children that are, that are gonna carry on his name because of the way he is. Oh! Look what he said about women. Oh. Oh. Look what he said about women. Fucking clip it. I don't give a fuck about this pussy new fucking soy culture, dude. Oh. Look what he said. Oh. I don't give a fuck, dude. Are you telling me I can't fuck girls with perfect asses like the ones I've already been with? Like, no, you're banned, dude. He's been with Don't ever tell girls. me to lower my expectations. Like, I'll He's tell you what, if no you tried girls. to do something, if you seriously tried to, like, get in my way. And How many girls has Stoke been with? Put the number in the chat. What's Stoke's body count? Force me to lower my expectations? I'd fucking kill you, dude. If somebody tries to force me to, like, not go for hot women, I'll fucking kill you, dude. I'm not going to lower my expectations. No, no thanks. I want to fuck hot girls who get me hard, and I'll be an animal in bed, and I'll get them screaming. And it's like, well, at the end of the day, I don't think you really understand what my expectations are. But, yeah, I'm in shape. I need a girl who's in shape. I need a girl who has a nice ass, at least, like... Sorry. I'm sure many of you are wondering just how Reform Stoic would approach a woman and ask her to be his girlfriend. Well, luckily for you, Stoic did a series of videos teaching his audience of would-be Stoic apprentices just how you should act to win the affection of the fairer sex. All right, guys, this is the grand finale. Grand finale. This is going to be good. All right, get ready for this, get ready for this. We're waiting. 
How's it going today? I'm doing pretty good. Do you have any applications? Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks for the ba bandana Rec recognition. Thanks, man. We need more bandanas. We need more bandanas, man. Oh, you know what? I meant an application for you because you're looking so pretty today. I was wondering if you had an application to be your boyfriend. For your pussy. No, oh, nothing's wait. opening. I'm married. Lifestyle coach? Uh, you, you messed it up. You should have been. I want an application for that ass. That, that, that would have been it, right? No. You're married. I'm not going to hit on a married woman. Reform Stoic on Instagram. Best lifestyle coach in the world. You can hit on a married woman. And they say I'm married. That's not a no. They're just, they're just letting you know that anything you do, there's no, kind of, there's no commitment. That's what they're letting you know. Stoic, that was a yes. That was a keep on going. You messed it up. You had an opportunity there. It's your lucky day. Remember that. Reform Stoic. Okay. Have a great one. Well. Tell your husband I said hi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. How many married women have I been with? I don't know. I don't really ask if they're married. Excuse me, miss. Can I help you with anything today? I don't work here. I just noticed that you're very pretty. How are you doing? Good. Good. You from Vegas? Yeah. Do you need a lifestyle coach? You have Instagram? I do. Reform Stoic on Instagram. Good lucky day. All right. Wait, does this motherfucker live in Vegas? Wait a second. Does this motherfucker live in Vegas? So when I was in Vegas, I could have visited this guy in real life. Bunge, you know about this motherfucker. Does he live in Vegas? Don't look excited. Thank you. Get excited on Instagram. Okay, thank you. Uh, best day of your life. Don't forget it. <laughs> this is good. This is good, dude. All right, let's make our let's make our let's make our escape. <laughs> I don't even know why he's escaping. I didn't follow this guy. Uh, what he just did. Uh, it's like he tried to make a smooth move, but he failed. It's not really hard to hit on the chick. Um, it's really not hard. It's time to make her escape. She's following me. <laughs> if she's following, she might be interested. Turn her around and be like, hey, what's going on? Be like, hey, you're following me. You want the D? <laughs> uh. I mean, like, I legit... Okay, there was this chick that worked at Walgreens. And I've been to this Walgreens many times. But we bantered back and forth. She was kind of nice. She had a very nice bust. You know, big chest. And I was working a late night shift one day. And I just... Out of the blue, I was like, you know what? I want to try this gamble of a move. Because I'm getting a vibe from her. I think she'll be down. I was like, i tell you what. She said, yeah? I would like you to sit on my face. And she's like, I'm down for that. Just let me know the time and place. I was like, all right. And I gave her my number. We kind of worked things out. And we met up at the park afterwards, uh, later on. And uh, I mean, it's TMI, but you could you could you could figure out what happened. But um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't really like a one liner. I took a shot in the dark and it worked. But yeah. <sighs> I could, I could, I could have already. Well, I got the vibe that she was already kind of interested. You know, you you can, you know that. With, a, with some back and forth, creepy. It worked. Bronx have worked. Uh, Take notes. Try it out. Daddy dead man's gonna. Don't don't say that. That's messed up. That's fucked up. I don't like that. Mr. Dead Man will tell you how to do it. 
fun. All right, here we go, here we go. It's time to break, it's time to get out, unnoticed. <clears throat> here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, 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 go. That girl fucked me, dude. She was distracted. She said she was thinking. Day of her life, up in, that was the best day of her life. And, and she needed day of her life. And, and she needed to know that. She needed me to tell her that, because I am a man. Men are stronger than women, men are smarter than women. Men are the best. Well, I mean, you're not smarter than women. I can tell you that. You're kind of dumb. You couldn't even use a Uber Eats app. Like, women could figure out how to cancel an order on an Uber Eats app. I'm sure. They wouldn't even cancel the order. Like, going back to the whole Uber Eats thing, Uber Eats called them and said, hey, they didn't have what you ordered, but they had something else. Do you still want that? A woman would have said, oh, yeah, I'm fucking hungry. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. And and, and, and then it would be done. It'd be it's smooth. He freaks out and has a whole meltdown. Women are second best, and there's only two sexes. There's only two, there's only two sexes, and women are the second best. So that's why I needed to tell her that it's the best day of her life. Because she needs a big, strong man to let her know, because she's scared. She's emotional. She's weak. See, women are afraid this they don't talk to alpha males alpha males like reform stoic don't just fucking trot trot up into your don't just fucking trot trot up into your life all the time when a fucking 11 out of 10 like me just fucking explodes into your life that girl that cuban girl that cuban girl was at some shitty thrift store okay she was at some piece of shit thrift store buying shitty clothes and here comes reform stoic just busting into everybody's life she's gonna have some hard times tonight she's gonna have a hard time all these all these girls that i talk to are gonna have a hard time tonight dude because they didn't, they didn't realize that men like me were out there. As he sips through a straw. Okay. A phallic object. You might as well just put a dick in your mouth. Women in the Starbucks didn't realize that. Women in the Mexican store. They wanted me to Don't drink your drinks through a fucking straw if you're trying to hit on women. Women see that. They see a weak man. They do. 100%. The only way it's acceptable is if, like, if you have, like, muscle muscles and you, you present, like, a very strong and masculine presence, then maybe it's acceptable. But most of us don't do that. I mean, I'm a big man. I'm 6'2", broad shoulders. I might be able to get away with it. But I don't, I don't use straws unless I have to. Every time you put a straw in your mouth, you're putting just you're putting like a plastic phallic object in your mouth. You're sucking on a dick. Be to come to their barbecue. I have destroyed women's hearts. I have destroyed these women. <laughs> I have Good job, successfully so destroyed these women's hearts. These women who Just how this modern day Adonis remains a single man will forever be one of life's <laughs> mysteries to me. Sorry, every this girl out. from IP2 that I've ever DM'd. Clearly it's not working out between us. I'm afraid I must go, Alice. And pay. That's sad. He couldn't get Alice from IP2. But you know who could? Ethan Ralph of the Killstream could get Alice... Could get a blowjob from Alice just fine. Give her what she wants, Jägermeister. You might say it was a little sus, maybe a little rapey what Ethan Ralph did. And I would say probably you're right. It is a little sus. But if you give a woman what she likes to drink, oh, you have... You may have a moment. Now, I say, too, if you want to be ethical, you maintain the level of drunkness with her. If you want to be ethical about it. If you're both drunk, it's fine. If she's drunk, and what you know what happens? That's on you, man.
Open the live chat. So it comes in soon? Okay. I'll take a look. Henry. I can't Clearly pop it's not out, happening between us, see. and uh, it's time for us to go our separate ways. It's time for this rider to ride off into the night. <laughs> Your move. The stoke will appear in the Your chat move, very soon. You could say that. You could say I'm a traveler. You could say I'm a rambler. Sharpshooter. The name's Roy. Age 35. Sharpshooter. Former Marine. Former Navy SEAL. Yeah, I do have the uh, stoic reply. I do have that. It's right here. Hold on. I'm gonna play this. I've been on a quest. I've been on a quest to respect women. And frankly, there's no more women here to respect. I must be rambling, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. We'll play a little bit of that. <laughs> I guess for now, Stoic will have to take a leaf out of the androcentric black pill and Hallmax to his heart's desire. The time I had the best escort experience I ever had was when I won a slot machine. I'm glad I filmed that shit, dude. I actually have, like, one good fucking sex tape. I got one... This guy has a sex tape? Shut the front door. Are you serious? This guy does not have a sex tape. One good ass sex tape of myself just fucking getting it, dude. Let's go. Yep. Yo, but the girl that I filmed it with, she's like, I like it raw too. I'm pretty sure I have her saying that on camera. I'm pretty sure I have her saying that on camera, dude. In fact, I'm positive. I'd have to like really listen carefully and pay attention. Wait. Was it the cigar girl? Because that's what she said to me. The cute black girl by the cigar stand in the Paris Hotel? That one? Oh, she was cute as fuck. She was cute. You have no idea. And she had a nice body. Am I Eskimo Bros with Reformed Stoic? Gross. But she's like, I like it raw too. And I was just like, I just like pretended I didn't hear her say that. Maybe I should hit it raw though, dude, because she was a good time. The video is fucking hot. It looks like a porn, dude. I made like a legit porn. Reform Stoic, being an intellectual heavyweight titan, is of course well versed in the noble art form of debate and has flexed his debate skills with the likes of Jay Dyer. Uh, is Reform Stoic in the house? I'm scared, dude. I'm, sh I'm literally sh shaking, dude. Reform Stoic. Reform Stoic. This is what you wanted. Hello? Stoic, Stoic wins. Are you there? We can see you there. You've got your mic unmuted. We've even let you in without asking for a profile pic. Well, okay, is that the mic. To... Oh, okay, we're getting here. We go. My mic's broken. Our Discord has the amazing power to completely obliterate every microphone. Have you noticed that? Literally, nobody's microphone works in our Discord, and it yeah. it's it's purely Mike, a touch. Uh oh. Right here. You're here. Let's go. Let's get it, Jay. Hey, I'm a big fan, by the way. First of all. Oh yeah, I bet you are. Sure. And second of all, I never said anything about KGB. I just said CIA, bro. Yeah, I don't that know was. You're trying to group me in with other people. I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. That was okay. my that was my joke. You ever heard of Intrepid Corp? Lance Cottrell? I exposed them on my channel, man. He was dressed up like a mailman in my neighborhood. Isn't that nuts? All right, are you a he troll? Are you anonymizer. are you a troll or are you here to debate? <laughs> well, remember, He's here for to debate, man. You remember? Um, I don't know. I have no idea who you're talking. I don't know so who you. you I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're talking about. You you can have so the. Israelite. Well, you and so the Israelite debated, correct? You do remember that, right? Uh, yeah. No. Oh. Okay, well, I exposed him as a CIA. I don't care who you've exposed. Do, do you have a topic to... Dude, nobody, nobody cares about your channel and your... Nobody cares about your channel and your exposés. Do you have an argument? Well, that's not an argument. That's a deflection. Do you game. have an argument? Let's talk about CIA handlers, Jay. 
Well, my argument is that UFCIA handlers. Okay, and and where is the proof? Where about, is the proof of this? You talk about people giving like a little bit of information and not really giving anything relevant to right now. That's exactly what your channel does, Jay. Okay, so how is that a proof? That, how is that a proof? Let's get it. Well, you, well, here's a proof. You do not have to be orthodox to get saved. That's for sure. You just got to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hey, this guy is a fad or a troll. Buddy. This guy's not even. Let's just, this guy's a troll. Just delete this guy. It's a total waste I'm, of time. I'm a John 316 Christian, Jay. Let's get He's it. laughing because he knows that what he's saying is disingenuous. He can't even make an argument. So, total waste. Look at that. Jay Dyer can't even argue with this guy. He just said you don't have to be an orthodox to be saved. Jay Dyer says, no, uh, get rid of him. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to do it. Jay Dyer couldn't even debate Stoics. Reformed Stoic got the win on Jay Dyer. Is that how this goes? That's, that's kind of how it goes, huh? So there you go. That's the quality. The quality of our opponents is so low tier that all he can do is like, I don't even know what that was. Okay. Fed speak. He was fed speak. What was the fed speak? He said... You don't have to be a reformed, uh, whatever, orthodox to whatever, to be a, a Christian, which, I mean, that's not fed speak. That's, that's religious speak. Like, what was it? Did anybody hear what church he was in? I'm, 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 he's I'm probably not even in a church, dude. That's probably not even. Total clown. No, he said uh, in my DMs, he said he's invisible church. Yeah, uh, so, just so the, an invisible church. So he's a, like a Protestant. Ah, Reform Stoic is a Protestant. Not the best example of a Protestant, honestly. I, I mean, neither am I. I got a, there's a pentagram right there. But that's just for show. I mean, I like, I like horror movies and horror aesthetics. And that's what really that's for. And the baby about to be sacrificed. That's what that's for. It's for just for horror stuff. It's not shock value. It's not like a really... The whole poster says Satan is my friend, actually. God, is that poster still cool? Oh, wait. God, is that poster still cool? He says it is. Let's play. <laughs> Just a Man. total clown. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, anybody have any good uh, actual arguments or positions that they want to get into to the beer? Before? In fact, Reform Stoic is such a master debater, he has even schooled his own mothers on the dangers of daring to use logical fallacies when discussing his issues with gang stalking. You get on and you antagonize people. That's victim blaming. Well, it's true though, you do. It's victim blaming. It's just victim blaming. You're saying that what they're doing is okay because no. of my legal right to freedom of speech. Jake, that you can't treat people like Like that. what? Give an example of how I treat somebody. Is that his mom? When you call somebody names. Who? Who, who did I call a name? Who specifically did I call a name? Give me an example. The dispatch lady? You come unglued on your channel. To who? To who? The, the dispatch lady. What about the dispatch lady, the Uber Eats person? Who do I come unglued at that made me deserve this? I didn't say that anything. Okay, well, you're, you're suggesting that I've done something to someone that has invited this into my life. Give me a specific example. The silence says everything, Mom. You're trying to call me crazy. Why is that? Because you're crazy. I don't live in this life, so I don't There's no life. You're just calling me crazy. I don't know what you mean by you don't live in this life. You're just calling me crazy, and I'm trying to get you to explain yourself. Guys, I want to let you know. After this, we are doing a dedicated moment of repenting for my sins through alcohol. I will play a drinking game. I have this these these shots that I need to finish. I need to start. I'm gonna puke on stream tonight to repent for my sins. That's happening. I'm just letting you know that's the plan. But that's after this. I will confess everything I ever done to fuck people over and we'll drink all right let's go but it seems like you can't when you get on and you are talking and you're using the F talking word using the f word saying fuck so that so I deserve to get gang stalked because I said fuck no 
that you are very aggressive. To who? I don't know who any of these people are, Jay. So you have no idea what you're talking about then? Because you can't provide any examples of what you're saying. I don't know who any of these people are. Well, then you don't know what you're talking about. You need to give me a specific example. When you said this to this person, that's why you deserve to get gangsta off, which is ultimately victim blaming. You're trying to make a case for, for victim blaming, and it's disgusting. I'm not saying that you deserve to be gang stalked. Well, then you should just stop saying what you're saying, and you should start trying to help me. See, you're putting all this effort into trying to prove that I deserve this somehow. Why don't you put that effort into trying to stop it from happening? Why don't you put some effort into that? Your brain sure gets working when you're trying to blame it on me. How about you get your brain working to try to help me somehow? You were just saying, I'm really worried about you and you need help. Why? Because I, why? Because I, I have evidence that a guy looked like a guy appeared to have a gun in his pocket when I'm jump roping. Like, so, so why am I crazy for filming that? Why are you crazy? You already agreed it was suspicious. That was now a you're dude's saying, dick. You're looking at a dude's dick and thinking it was a gun. That's what's happening there. I need help. Why is that? Well, I don't know what he has in his pocket. It could just be his hand. I don't know. So why are you going to assume that when you're well, even your mom was like, dude, it could have been his cock outline. What, what are you talking about? Son has been going through this for over a year. Why are you assuming everything against me? Like, can you explain yourself? Because I find it very suspicious. All of us do. What do you mean, who's all of us? All right, can you I'll check the yourself? chat. I'm I mean, also going to let that people in the Discord know. I need I'll be help. Doing a segment you, help. Of you, you were just trying to call me crazy. Soon. Why is that? I'm sure some people you, would You remember why I called you today, that. right? Why do you think I called you today? Because these people showed up. So your response is to victim blame me and suggest and that I need some sort of mental help. Why is that? Explain yourself. Jake, it just feels like you're going through some stuff. I don't think that everybody, I mean. But you've already admitted that the guy appears to have something in his pocket. You see that he was preparing to cross the street. You see that yes. he looks suspicious. Look you see that the guy on the bike looked like the guy from the YouTube channel. So why aren't you taking my side, mom? possibly look suspicious okay well then that gives me reason to be worried so if i have reason to be worried then why are you telling me that i need help okay. because i'm worried about you jake why are you worried about me because you are angry you're paranoid and why do you think i'm angry and paranoid do you think i have any reason to be angry or paranoid I think that you are involved in a lot of online stuff that is bringing a lot of really bad people into your life. Okay, so if there's bad people in my life, then that means I have reason to be angry and paranoid. I'm just walking you through this by the hand, logically, showing you yeah. that I have every reason to be infuriated that you're suggesting I'm crazy. You've already admitted that there's bad people in my life. So now you're calling me crazy because there are bad people in my life? How does that make sense? But these are self-fulfilling prophecies, Jake. How? Explain. Into your life by being online all the time. That's victim blaming. Once again, we've circled back to you victim blaming me. Yeah, don't I'm be a victim. Be... Don't be a victim. Online, I have the freedom of speech. Now you're suggesting that I deserve this. But when you are it's online victim mentality. you are calling out these people, Jake, it is going I'm to... I'm doing it to defend myself. Defend yourself from what? What do you think? I don't uh, know. The hate, you don't hate know. Mob. Do you remember the name of the company that I was talking about? Instagram. Wait. Integral. Wait, what was the name of the company? Jake, I just don't. You don't, do you remember the name of the company or not? I don't. Intrepid. Okay, do you remember Intrepid. the name of the? Yeah, that's right. Intrepid. That's right. That's right. Mailman. You should know this as a paid assassin to murder him. Lance. Okay, so you do know, but you're saying you don't. I'm just wondering why that is. I'm just. You randomly started calling me crazy and saying you're worried about me and I need help and. Jake, I wonder why you're doing that. I want you to explain to my channel why you're doing that. Okay, if you have me on your channel, I'm getting off the phone. Why? Because I'm not going to be online. So. I'll well, you are going to be. You are going to be online. Bye. Oh, just told his mom what is up. Jake, if you are streaming right now, I'm not going to be on your channel. You're not able to explain yourself, Mom. You just started right, calling me crazy. Live chat. You were unable to explain yourself. Why, why do you think it is that you shouldn't have to explain yourself? 
because I don't owe it to anybody. You don't owe me an explanation for why you're calling me crazy when I called you because I think I'm in danger. Jake, I am scared for you I because see I think that the danger that you are in, you are creating. That is victim blaming. Warriors is a mod alone, and grossly... They, they attacked uh, me first, channel. Mom, and you don't know that. How do you know that? Have you talked to them? I guess he should be a mod on my channel. I don't talk to them well, then, I don't Well, then how do you friends. know? Then how do you know that they will leave me alone? How do you know that? Because if you are not exposing people, they will leave you alone. How do you know that? Because you're crazy. I just know that. How? What's because your evidence? I live my life and nobody is doing this stuff to me. Oh, so because you're not getting harassed by the CIA, that suggests, I mean, Mom, everything you're saying is nonsensical. Everything, is, everything you're saying is nonsensical. This. But I've already showed you Lance Cottrell. I've already showed you people in Intrepid who they have Richard Harris Helms, who was 30 years in the CIA. I've already showed you the CIA connections. I'm just trying to get some clarity here. Why you all of a sudden out of the blue start calling me crazy and victim blaming me? I mean, on one hand, you're telling me that there's nothing you can do to help. Well, I'll tell you what, victim blaming me and calling me crazy really isn't helping. Well, Jake, I just think your life can be better than this. Oh, really your mom your told you what's up, son. This. Your life could be better than this. Listen to your mom's reform stoic. That's some wise words right there. Your life could be better than this. You have not explained anything that you've said. I've taken you by the hand. Well, you, okay, you don't know how to explain it. There you go. You can see that you can't explain yourself. So I would just politely ask you not to victim blame me and not to call me crazy. Because you agree that the guy appears to have something in his pocket. I've showed you the guy on the bike who showed up right after and hit the sign. I've sent you all of my evidence. Dad said he deleted the evidence, and he laughed at me and said he felt sorry for me. So The chat's pretty brutal, well, I'll Jake, tell you that. I don't feel like that at all, but I am scared for you. But he hasn't shown Which up. Which is it? Are you scared for me, or do you think I'm crazy? I'm scared for you, Jake. I'm scared for the way that you keep <clears throat> being online and being in these people's lives. I'm allowed to be online. I've exposed them for harassing me. Jake, being allowed to do something does not make it smart. Oh! I'm, I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting myself because the police have done nothing. You're suggesting... Mom, listen. Right to be on the freeway, but that would be a really stupid thing to False do. analogy fallacy. Anyway, please stop interrupting me. I have exposed Ooh, people harassing me. The cops have not helped. Analogy you have not helped. Fallacy. You and Dad have now taken part in the harassment. <sighs> The, people would, people would not take my side unless I documented this evidence. The only reason people are taking my I'll side... i what, man. Reform still could out-debate uh, Destiny 100%. Has they, have they ever debated on anything? Reform Stoic has the energy level to compete with Destiny. He does. Because of the evidence that I've documented. Because you and Dad would just call me nuts. That, that's what you're doing right now. You just called me insane, and I just tried to get you to explain yourself, and you couldn't. Jake, your mind is working very fast, and you keep thinking that people are against you. And I, I have evidence of it. I have evidence of it. You. I have evidence of it. I don't think that everybody is against you. I didn't say that everybody's against me. We're going to speed this up a bit. Straw man argument. I said that Lance Cottrell, who disguised as a mailman, is against me. I said that these people who show up five minutes after I start jump roping are against me. Why do you keep deflecting? And how come you can't explain yourself anytime I ask you to? Yeah, mom. Why can't you do that? Jeez, it's a simple, simple request. You can't just do the simple thing. <sighs> Moms, you know, you think they have the best intention, but really. So you think that I'm against you too? Well, you called me crazy. I mean, you remember why I called you, right? Because I jump roped. And then these people show up five minutes after I start jump roping. One of them who very well might have a gun in his pocket. And then you just say, I'm so worried about you. You need help. Why did you say that? Because you thought a man's dick was a gun. Boy, that silence just doesn't say anything positive about it. I'll tell you that much. I don't know how to help, Jake. Oh, well, calling me crazy, calling me crazy isn't helping. I can tell you that much. Can you she at least remember that? Can you at least remember not to victim blame me? Please don't victim blame me. Please don't call me crazy. It's extremely offensive. Oh, well, that's not. My Get intent. ready for the well, offense. Stop doing Get used it. to it. Let's take a look at this chat. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm explaining you. I'm explaining to you. Please don't victim blame me. And please don't call me crazy. Okay. I see. Go, go. I think you should start trying channel. to figure out what to do. 
And saying you don't know what to do Dose is not a response. Niccolo. You should try to figure it out. Taking vacations to Vegas isn't helping. There's some more advice. I'm hyped up for it. I want to do it. If I didn't have my YouTube channel, all I'd have is you and Dad calling me crazy. There's ways, Jake, to get your life back. How? And I didn't want How? You to have your life back. How? See, you're pretending that you know for a fact that if I just stay off of the internet, that's going to do something. But the thing is, is all I did today was go out and jump rope. It's completely arbitrary. Like, when do I have to stay off the internet? You're going to pretend that you know why these people showed up. But on one hand, you're trying to tell me that you don't think those people are suspicious. So if those people aren't suspicious, then why do I need to stay off of the internet? See, you're contradicting yourself. You're on one hand saying this isn't happening, but you're also saying I'm in danger and I need to stay off of the internet. So which is it? How come everything you say just seems to be against me in every way, shape, and form? On one hand, I'm crazy and this isn't happening, but on the other hand, I need to stay off of the internet because it's bringing dangerous people into my life. So which is it? It's one or the other. Like, you contradicted yourself. All of this is very confusing to me, Jake, and it's very upsetting. Well, your logic is extremely confusing. None of it makes sense. Your logic is upsetting you because you just say stuff that you don't think about. Okay. It's upsetting to me when you suggest that I'm crazy and when you victim blame me for what's happening. Well, Jake, you're very angry and you're And very why do you think I'm angry? I think that your mind is working overtime and I think you really need to talk to somebody. I think you could feel a lot... So you don't think anything's happening to me? You don't think there's anything suspicious about- You don't think there's anything suspicious- Please stop talking over me. Please stop talking over me. You don't think there's anything suspicious about those photos I sent you. Those guys both showed up five minutes after I was jump roping. I don't know. Well, if you don't know, then how can you know that my mind is working overtime? You're contradicting yourself again. Because your mind works very fast, Jake. You're and why is that bad? Fast. Why is that bad? I'm smarter than you, so that's bad? Convenient for you. Because it's very negative. It's negative that I'm being gang stalked and then I'm proving it. If you call people out, Jake, and you expose them... I'm exposing their harassment against me as a means of protection. Ooh, as a means of protection, huh? I don't think that that is going to protect you. I think that that is going to keep it going. And why do you think that? Because by keeping and saying all of these things on the internet to get at people, it's going to make them want and need to retaliate against you. It's not to get, that it's not to get back at them, it's to protect myself. When a CIA agent disguises a mailman in my neighborhood, I feel that that needs to be documented and shared as a means of protection for myself. So I guess what it comes down to, Mom, is you have the right to your opinion, and I have the right to mine. But you seem to think that for no reason at all, your opinion deserves to dominate mine. When you continuously say you don't know how to help, you don't know how to help, I'm trying to help you help me this by not victim insane. blaming me and not calling me crazy. And there's no help. You keep contradicting it. yourself. You say, you say the guy looks suspicious, you say it looks like he has something in his pocket. How can he convince someone who is paranoid that they're paranoid? you say that I'm working overtime and that I need help. You can't have both. You're contradicting yourself. Jake, I feel like your mind is racing and it goes fast and I think... So you don't think the guy looks suspicious in the picture? No! The silence says everything. I think you're reading the script. I think somebody's whispering in your ear. I think you're working with them. Whoa, Nobody's she's part of it. I don't hear dad whispering in your ear all the time when I'm on the phone with you. Well, he's not whispering in my ear. It's an uphill battle with you. You take the side against me in every single way that you can. I'm not against on one hand, you say I'm causing Actually, this by exposing them, Stewart, and on the other hand, your you... mom is hired. Your mom is actually your mom's been in this chat the whole time. Your mom is actually channel. So, and we were both about to assassinate you one night, but we didn't because I said not to do that. Not your mom. Keep that in mind. You say my mind is working overtime, so is something happening or not? Because you say it's both happening and not happening at the same time, just everything against me all the time. Jake, I think that there is a good chance that the people that you saw today were just legitimately there. But you've already said it looks like he has something in his pocket, and he has his hand in his pocket. Well... You're playing devil's advocate, and considering I'm your son, considering I'm your son, considering I moved here because of coordinated harassment in Vegas, wouldn't it suggest that if somebody looks suspicious, they likely are suspicious, considering what I've been going through? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, then why do you keep taking the side against me? So your default I'm when you don't know, hush, 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 your default when you don't know is to take the side he against just yourself. Why is that? Mom? 
This guy is crazy. You are. You're calling me crazy. You're victim blaming me. Okay, we're going in circles. We're going in circles because of you. Because you're using circular logic. It's nonsensical. Why is it that you're unable to take responsibility for the things you say? Hush, mother. I don't know what to say to you. Okay, so you don't know what to say to me, but what you do say to me is victim blaming and calling me crazy. Why is that? How come when you don't know what to say, admittingly, you call me crazy and victim blame me? I just want there to be clarity. I'm just giving you a chance to explain yourself, and you're doing a terrible job. Jake, I can't get through to you. I'm listening. Your life would be so much better if you didn't have to feel so angry and paranoid all the time. I agree. I'm angry and paranoid because people are harassing me. Oh, uh, there's reform evidence, stroke and in the chat. And you've admitted to destroying Can't evidence. To copyright Dad has, admitted, Dad has admitted to destroying evidence. I have it all documented. I'm speaking to lawyers. Well, well Jake, it's that's not. Bad. It's that's not bad. I have not destroyed anything. I don't think that you're well, I just, I just sent you chat. evidence, and you're trying to say that, you know, on one hand, you think I'm uh, causing this, and then on the other hand, you don't think it's suspicious. Even though you've already admitted it's suspicious, you go back and forth. You just go back and forth. Jake, I know that in order to prove stalking, there has to this be a lot right more here. than just somebody standing across the street from you. Who appears to have a gun in his pocket. Who showed up five minutes after I started jump roping. Pocket, the and then you have the guy on the bike right behind him. <sighs> you're just playing dumb. It's hard to see. I'm sorry, you're, you're playing dumb. Uh, on the bike, Jake, I'll keep an eye on it. Riding his bike. Yeah, and I've identified him. I've shown you who it is. There's the silence again. Everyone is posted this is this I already to told you down. who it is. He doesn't look like that guy. He does not look like. He looks guy. exactly like. He looks exactly like him. They got the same light skin. The reform Stoke is in the chat. Baby face, to take baby down shaved the video. face. Looks exactly like him. Take down the stream. Same height, same build. He doesn't look. But like him. he's not taking this down. Him to me. I've just explained, and there's more pictures I could get you. You need more pictures. See, you're just playing devil's advocate. You just keep taking the side against me by default, and I really am confused about why that is. I'm really confused that when your son is a victim of this ongoing harassment for over a year, you continuously play devil's advocate with all of my evidence. You're all part of the, the reason evidence. this is so easy for them to do this to me, because you're not taking my side. Well, Jake, I am on the video not pop on my up side. on I'm my copyright right center. I'm not seeing the connections that you are it's seeing. It's seriously coming down. You already said earlier that you were. Can't and then wait, you it back. he says. No, I never said that I was not on your side. I am on your side. You already said it looks like the guy has something in his pocket. You already said it looks suspicious. You already agreed that it looked like he was crossing the street. And then you victim blamed me and said that I'm bringing this upon myself. You're just, no, you're yes. taking the side against me from all different angles all the no, time. I'm... Yes, it is a strange thing, but it's not enough to prove anything. Okay, but then there's also the guy who was following me in the park. Then there's also the strange activity over at Petro Marine. And then there's all of the strange activity in Vegas. It's one or the other, Mom. You either think I'm full of shit, or you think something's going on. Well, I can't really make out this guy's face. So then why are you taking the side against me? I'm not taking you any side. You are. But, Jake, this is there's not enough here for the police to do anything. But, yeah, I mean, this guy does look a little suspicious. Okay, well, you're going in circles, Mom. Stop calling me crazy. Stop victim-blaming me. You got your feet up on vacation, you're sipping wine, Ooh. and you're victim-blaming your son. And you're calling me crazy. And you're just trying to explain to me that I need to talk to somebody because I'm exposing my gang stalkers? Honey, I love you, okay? I really love you, and I am sorry that this happened to you today. You've completely failed to answer for yourself. I don't have any answers. Well, now you've admitted that you have no answers, so then you should stop victim blaming me and calling me crazy. You always get that same tone of voice. I'm it's so worried about chat. you. I think you need to talk to somebody. Your life could be so much better. I've asked you to stop doing that a number Form of times. Stoke is still in the chat. I've logically taken you by the hand it. and shown you how there's no basis for you to be saying that. But you continue to do it. And maybe after you see this video on my YouTube channel of our 26-minute phone call, you'll finally understand there's repercussions for your actions. Okay. Because I deserve clarity. I think I can be happier. Okay. Once I stop getting gaslit by my mother. I love you. Bye-bye. Get owned, bitch. Now, as we all know, time is money. And for far too long, Reform Stoic has been imparting his vast wisdom on his audience for free. He decided that from now on, for him to stream, he would need $1,000 minimum. An absolute bargain, I say. Mic check. All right, guys, here's the deal. I'm going to lay it out for you, cut and dry. Um, time is money. Time is money. have not produced money. It's been a waste of time, arguably. I can basically live with... Uh, as much streaming as I've done up to this point. I will never stream again for free. 
So if y'all want to negotiate about exactly how much money it's going to cost, that's fine. The starting price is $1,000. Basically, I need to go to my PayPal and see $1,000 in my account, and then I'll do a stream for two hours. Um, some of the money is going to go to Rick Perry. You know, he's got a couple of financial struggles going on, and I've been wanting to kind of find a way to get him some money for a while now. So um, this channel is at the beginning stages of becoming something more serious. I'm at the beginning stages of becoming a more serious leader for this channel. Um, streaming is just done unless we can talk money. I know there's a lot of people out there who want me to stream. I saw people on Kiwi Farms who were like, oh my gosh, dude, he'll be streaming in like two days from now. Uh, no, I'm completely done streaming unless y'all want to pay. Um, if anybody wants to pay me to get on a particular research project, you know, that could be negotiated. If anybody wants to pay me for consulting, you know, mm -hmm. we can negotiate that. I'm ready to make some money. If you do something good, you don't do it for free. Whatever it is I do, I'm clearly... You got to pay him up. You got to pay him up. <laughs> this thing is insane. Yeah, but Reform Stokes in the chat crying about it. Here's Reform Stokes' response. Apparently, it's a five-hour stream of him crying about this whole thing. They're like... <laughs> Nice try, Reform Stoic. You'll never be on Reddit. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. I have no idea what you're talking about. Relationships with others, regardless of gender here. And women who have this independent... Look, he's all cry-eyed. Teary-eyed. About the, uh... About the stream. About the... Get, look, look, he's crying. Well, that's probably official. One's in the pharmacy nonstop... <laughs> He's still crying. Why do you complain. He's just crying. You to your face. <laughs> We're crying all the time. Okay. Really Here's the thing. I've been streaming for a while. I need to do a dedicated stream to repenting. We've been this like been almost four hours. I'm gonna end this stream and start up a new stream. And that stream is dedicated to repenting for my sins. Sorry, Zod, but I gotta do this. I gotta repent for my sins. I need to, I need, I need to correct what I fucked up. And there's nothing I can do. We're gonna talk about it. Hold on. It's gonna be like nothing happened because I'm gonna end this stream with start a new stream.